Hey, Robin. <coughs> Let me get my voice going here. <laughs> and the babies are in here, so I might have to be moving them out. Here we go. Oh, let me get a sip of juice. How's everybody doing? <coughs> that looks good. Hi, Pacola, AJ, SC, Ma Mamu, Caroline. May, happy Monday, Darla, B, Wendy. <coughs> Sorry, guys, get my voice going. Preppy, Rob, aside Robin, Kim, Paula, Shara, uh, Diana, Loretta, Azure. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. So if you are, um, let me put this here for a minute so it kind of props up the glare. Well, that didn't help much, did it? Still a glare. Um, so if you're just watching for the first time or new here, I do say good morning to everybody ahead of time. I think I need to zoom in one, but we're good for a minute. <laughs> okay, Caroline, good to have you. Lurk away. We love our lurkers. Hi, Marie. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Teresa. Hi, Terry. How you doing? Oh, here come the babies. I took a thumbnail. That's what I have all this up here for. So, so he can mess it up now. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Here we go. <laughs> Good morning, Terry. Oh, my goodness. So let's move this out of the way. Oh, baby. So, oh, my goodness. You're welcome. And just open. Hang on. There's Denise. Hey, Nisi. What's up? I just started. I just started streaming. You want to say, say good morning while I put you on speakerphone? Okay, wait, uh, Oliver, get your foot out of my paints. Get your foot out of my paints, baby. Okay. Okay, say good morning. Good morning, all. <laughs> well, I was going to come and surprise you today. You were on your day off? But then I decided you probably didn't want me to surprise you, so I just thought I'd tell you I'm coming over. You are? How long until you'll get yeah, here? Just a minute. I just you want to bring you your um, Mother's Day gifts. I'll be there around 10, 10, 30. Oh, well, I'll still be streaming. You can come up and and, um, and be on sh the show. I'm not prepared to do a clean out today. Oh, you better get ready. You <laughs> <laughs> just no, I just want to swing by for a minute, bring you the bag. I have uh, I have to come back and get Samantha uh -huh. uh, by around one. So okay, so you can't stay. Well, yeah. honey, what a long trip for to bring me my Mother's Day gift. It's gonna rain Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, so you want to come before because okay. well, it's nice weather. And I don't want you to have to drive up here in the radiator. So yeah. you're so I'm sweet. You're the best. Well, I look forward to having you here, and you'll be you can come say hi to the girls. Okay. And then uh, Grandma gave me some uh, picture book to give you. <gasps> oh, okay. Don't forget the picture book. Nope, it's all together. Okay, drive safe. All right, see all right. Bye. Okay. Oh, yay! We're gonna have a surprise. We're gonna have Denise. Woohoo! <laughs> she won't be. I don't think she'll be on camera. Okay, my cats. I got. I'm gonna have to block them out. So, hi, Melody. Oh, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. We'll just chill in bed. Chill in bed. So, yeah, she's gonna bring me my Mother's Day gift. So sweet. So it, she said about ten. So that's uh, you know, about an hour and a half. It takes about. It's about an hour and a half drive to her house. So we'll have time to do some show and tell and stuff. Hi, Barbara. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so, uh, no, baby, you, you know, you can't, no, no, let's, let's get out. Let's both of y'all get out. Come on. Come on, little princess. There you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm glad Denise is coming down. That'll be fun, guys. If y'all haven't met my daughter, Denise. Yeah. It's her day off of work. She's off on Monday and Tuesday. She's in real estate. <laughs> 
So she's off on Monday and Tuesdays. So she's, yeah, today and tomorrow it's going to be nice weather. And then we're supposed to have about a week of rain. So, um, yay. Well, that just made my Monday. And mom, if you're listening, <laughs> um, Denise was in San Antonio last week. Um, so mom got to see her last week. And so when she said she's bringing me the picture album, mom sent pictures back with her from Texas. So, yay. Oh, I'm so excited. So you guys can talk to Denise for a while when she gets here. Uh, I don't think we'll do a face-to-face. -face and she, like she said, she has to be back by one. So there won't be any, like, um, um, you know, cleaning, cleaning up. <laughs> Whatever you call that. You know how we do, how we get together and uh, do um, clean outs. Hi, Sammy. Hi, y'all. So um, let me let me show y'all something while I'm speaking about mom. Um, I want to show you something. Oh, I think I got it in my pictures. Let me look here. Ken, you know, mom's husband, Ken, who's he's pretty ill. So y'all keep him in your prayers. He's been working on some more canvas, um, uh, plastic canvas creations. If y'all haven't seen, let me go get the one. Hang on. <clears throat> Let me show y'all some of Ken's creations. He's a woodworker. If y'all have seen, I've shown some of his woodworking he's done for mom before. And he has made, uh oh, let me get back to my picture here. So he's made, uh, he makes plastic canvases. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got one Kleenex one, Azure. But look, here's one of the things he made a whole Western village for his grandson. And I love the little outhouse, so he made me a little outhouse. But wait, wait for it. <laughs> um, you remember, Robin? Okay, so look, <clears throat> I have I have a Patrick in here. There is a little toilet in there. <laughs> look at there. So, and I made I made a little roll of toilet paper just to put it in there because it looks so cute. But yeah, I put Patrick in there. So Patrick, <laughs> Patrick is in the outhouse. <laughs> so yeah, isn't that so cute? He made a whole Western village. And so I asked him, look at look how good that is. Look how neat those stitches are. So he made me that. And then he also made me this. It is a teapot Kleenex holder. <laughs> Isn't that just so stinking cute? And he has one of these glass uh, knobs on top. Isn't that so cute? Hi, Dee. Hi, Kenny. I know I can't take it. It's so cute. I know, Kenny, right? <laughs> well, hey, Janet. Why not a Sears catalog? I know. I need a miniature one of those. You, Janet, you, you're the minute you make miniature. You could probably hand write me one. <laughs> you know, though, that would be a that would be a good zine swap. <gasps> Janet, you just gave me an idea. A great zine swap would be you have to do something from an old Sears catalog. <gasps> Wouldn't that be fun? An old Sears catalog zine. My mind's just racing now. So anyway, he made this and it's got a, it's a box of Kleenex under there. And then you pull, you just put the tissue through the spout. <laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't that so adorbs? Okay. A Sears catalog. <laughs> ah, Janet. Okay. So, but here's his newest one that mom sent me a picture of. Look, look at this. It's like the top, you know, it's like the top of a, a, a light on a pole, you know, a, uh, look how, look at that. Isn't that so awesome? Look at that. And it's got a little, a battery operated tea light thing in there. So that's his newest one. Isn't that awesome? I know. I know guys. Isn't it beautiful? So, um, yeah, it's got the little, little light in there. So yeah, I had to share that with you. 
Yes, he's reinventing plastic canvas. I know, right? Oh my gosh, you should have seen. I don't, I don't have it right handy right now, but he did the whole, a whole Western village, Pacola, a whole Western village. Hi, Christine, Kim, Kimberly. Uh, hi, Nick and Tina. Good to see you. Um, uh, I know I'm missing people coming in. Hi, AJ. So I'm so excited. Janet, were you here when uh, Denise called and said she's coming over with my Mother's Day gift? She'll be here in about an hour and a half. She's, uh, yeah, so I thought that was, uh, it's her day off and she's coming down to see her mom. So, okay, well, let's get on. Let's get on to some stuff here while we're waiting for Denise. Hi, Dev. Good to see you. Good to see you. If y'all don't know the modernist, colorist, Dev, um, his show is on Sundays. And he's an awesome colorist, and he's also a great enabler. He's right up there with Eileen, except he just does color books and coloring supplies and art su and uh, painting and, and markers and things. Um, okay, I know we all love Denise, don't we, Janet? And Mom, if you're watching, good morning. Okay, so I, I remember last, uh, I think it was Wednesday, I started this gouache, little gouache painting. And our show got cut off. So our show got cut off right when I was working on this. So I, I think I'm going to have a special gouache day on Wednesday again, where I'm going to do a lot of little, you know, I have a whole bunch of these things drawn out um, in this book and in two other books. So I've, I just left it right where we left off. This is where we left off on Wednesday, coloring the um, artichoke. So we'll finish up that and some other things on Wednesday because I have some, uh, I don't know, Pacola's probably going to put it. Oh, uh, mom is watching. She just texted me. Hey, mom, Denise is on the way. And did you just see I showed Ken's uh, plastic canvas creations? Um, text me if you want, mom. You're sitting right next to me. I can read your text. So mom's, uh, I'll just turn down the volume. Okay. So I think on Wednesday, we might use some gouache today. I don't know in the project that I have going, but um, uh, Terry said hi, Donna. I don't know. Are you? Can you see chat, Mom? Are you reading chat, or are you just watching on the iPad with no chat? So, hey, Miss Vicky, how the babies? How's the planner world going? Um, and if y'all don't follow Miss Vicky B, Miss Vicky B has, she sells classes on Etsy. She sells, uh, stickers and she, yeah, um, she has cool things on through her Patreon. So if y'all don't follow Miss Vicky B, go check her out. Um, yeah, yeah. Be here on Wednesday, Christine. Okay. So that's what we're going to do on Wednesday. And I, but I did want to open up the gouache and show you it is starting to dry out a little. So now I can't like poke my finger into because I have this lid on it, right? <clears throat> Am I talking really loud? <laughs> and I still haven't got my um, magic erasers yet to clean this off, but I have it on my list. So they are starting to dry out, and some of the white ones are a little cracked. But I don't know that it matters as long as you can still reactivate them. <clears throat> so I'm not going to, uh, well, I can't say I'm not going to because we might use them today. I don't know. But I'll just re-wet them, right? So these are the, yes, I am excited. I'm excited that Denise is surprising me coming down. Um, but we'll reactivate them as we need them. And um, yeah, this is not the case that the, Arteza gouache came in. They came in a big box in tubes. I put this together because Janet enabled me to make me a little thing here. And these are just the individual little, the individual little pans stuck on double-sided foam tape in, in a box that was just an old watercolor set. And uh, so I just made this myself uh, like Janet did hers all in wood. So I'm going to just set this aside for now because I don't know if we're going to use it or not, but it's handy. Okay. So what on this and this too. <clears throat> so I have a couple new books. I'm not going to work in them today. I will probably do a color book catch up during the week and um, 
like an hour long or something and and not a live show just a color book catch up that's where i just do a recording uh of things i'm trying to catch up on but i, I want to do a show on these now first off these are aaron shepherd is the writer and then he's got different um well i'll read i'll read you the intros to them i don't know if aaron sent these to me because if you read Remember the um, Baker's Dozen color book? That I, and I tried to find it first thing. I couldn't find it this morning so uh, or yesterday morning when I was trying to get ready. And so, but he's, I'm not sure if he's the one or if one of you want to fess up. It came directly from him. So I don't know if somebody ordered these for me or if he sent them to me to show. Either way, I'm happy to have them, but if someone wants to fess up and tell me that they sent them to me, that's great too. Um, <clears throat> sip of juice. Um, hi, uh, Sh Sh no Noah, where are you from? <clears throat> and good morning. Hi, Shonda. Uh, hi, Sean. I got these all in the post. You think Aaron sent them to us? Okay. So Aaron, thank you for sending this. I'm going to use, I'm going to do a little flip through now. I'll do a more in-depth flip through when I do a show on them and color in them. So maybe, maybe we can, maybe we can show something to Dev he doesn't have, Sean. <laughs> Sean has, I mean, Dev has everything. Okay, so this is the Skeeter and Weasels. The Skeeter and Weasels color book and L. Watson and then Aaron Shepard. <laughs> I saw those big smiles, Dev. And um, let me just, well, I won't read it now because I want to do a special show on it. But it's grayscale. And so you can color it and fill it in. Now, you couldn't use marker in this because it's not, you know, unless you want to lose the story. Um, but, you you know, it, it's it's um, it's like a storybook and you can color it in and uh, and have your own colored in storybook. This is great if you have high jersey. This is great if you have kids or grandkids. Mine are my grandkids are 16 and 19. So, um, yeah. <laughs> But it's still it's awesome. This is the one I'm really excited to get uh, started in. Here, let me move the thing here. Hi, G. I know. Isn't that Miss Vicky? Miss Vicky, would you color it for your children? Miss Vicky, if you will color this for your kids, I'm not saying you have to do videos and show every page. But if you would like this, Vicky, I will send it to you. I'll send it to you, Vicki, if you'd like it. I'm going to do a video on it first and show it in more in depth. And then if you'd like it. Okay, you would? Okay, so we're going to give this to Miss Vicki. Okay, I'll do a video on it this week and then I'll get it out to you. Okay? <clears throat> so if y'all don't follow Miss Vicki B, y'all do so. Okay, that'll go to Miss Vicki. Okay, um... You'll yes, get your daughters to help. Awesome. Oh, Vicky, that'll be so fun. She's taking art classes and she would love to help me. Okay, you can't use markers though, unless you want to lose the story. You'll have to just use pencil. But uh, it feels like it's kind of like coated, so it should be fine with just pencil. You know, uh, it may be fine with water based markers. You might try out, um, you know, the super tips or something it may be fine for that i won't write in it because i want you to you to have it so okay so we'll give that to miss vicky okay the other one that he sent me is amazing grays and this is really cool it's photographs that are just put into grayscale your five-year-old loves to enjoys coloring i like the two books advertised in the back that were not sent okay I, yeah let me uh let me see if that's in this one okay here we go Here's the one that I'm talking about, the Baker's Dozen. I have this. I've worked in this for a couple of Christmases. Um, so that is uh, the stories by Aaron Shepard and Wendy Edelson. I follow, well, I follow, I think I follow them both on Instagram. But Wendy Edelson, E-D-E-L-S-O-N. Um, so you can see her art on Instagram. And then there's the Quackling Color Book. 
and the Sea King's Daughter coloring book. So I might have to get that Sea King. That looks that looks good. All right, Sean, thank you. Um, oh, thanks, Terry. Thanks, guys, for the thumbs up. And thanks, everybody, for being here this, on Monday morning. Okay, so The Amazing Grays, number one, a grayscale adult coloring book with 50 fine photos of people, places, pets, plants, and more. And they're, they're photographs. And what's nice about this, they're one-sided. So you can use markers. And that's what I plan on doing. Remember now, if you don't want to take the pages out of the book, that to make sure to put cardstock behind it. So if you use your alcohol markers, it's going to go through. You don't want to go to the next page, right? So again, I will color in it in this one and read the intros and show that I'll do a special video just uh, on these books. So we'll I'll, I'll do that sometime this week. Look at those tulips. Hi, Jacqueline. Anybody else I missed? Thanks, guys. And don't forget if you want to if you want to if you see somebody new here, uh, like the Jersey Crafter, uh, just go do, follow their name over to the three dots. Uh, go and you can say go to channel. It'll say go to channel. You just click on that. And it'll open a new window. And it shouldn't disconnect you from here. So. Um, so anyway, uh, I just wanted to do a little flip through here. There's such a variety. There's plants, people, just like it says, uh, people, places, pets, and plants, and more. And so it's just, it's just you know, random different photographs. And it'll just be so fun to uh, color with uh, markers. I love her. I'm, I might do her first. Um, poppies. So we will color, we'll do a show and color in this one. Okay, let me set these aside for now. And Miss Vicki B, I'll send that to you as soon as I make the video. Okay, so let's see. You're welcome, Jersey. Um, Jersey pops up every now, well, she, anytime she's soon, she'll pop up. But a couple of times she's popped up when she's gone shopping at Michael's. And um, I forget where else. Maybe it's Michael's. And anyway, uh, she's popped up on my feed. So I've, I've walked with her through. Michaels, uh, you know, virtually speaking. Okay, so I did get these uh, with a 40% off coupon. Um, Xandra had sent me a couple of, not this one, but let me see where I put them. The, yeah, I guess it was. Yeah, she did. It's this one. She had sent me two or three of these mermaid, um, mermaid paint brushes. There's, here's another one. There's, there should be a third one. I think she sent me three. Anyway. And so I came across them in Hobby Lobby and I had a 40% off coupon. Oh, you're welcome, Miss Vicky. Y'all make sure and follow Miss Vicky B now. She is awesome and she's an awesome planner. Like she's my planner queen. I don't do planners for planner's sake, but I love planners. So if you want to see new planners, Miss Vicky B is your planner queen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Jersey, you need to go back and get the, those boxes that were, I don't know, it's Monday now. I don't know if they're still on sale, but those boxes were 50% off. Those storage box type things like these, like here's a small one. These type boxes at Michael's, they're all on sale for 50% off. Uh, well, they were on Saturday. So anyway, I got a set at Hobby Lobby of the mermaid markers. They're not, I mean, ugh. Mermaid paintbrushes. They're not with the other paintbrushes. They're on, they're over by the craft paint, which by the way, I did restock. I re I restocked a lot of my Americana paints. They were 30% off last week. So I got I got a whole bunch of these restocked. I went through all my paints. Um well, let's see if I can show this. No, I can't bring it over here. Um, I don't know if I can kind of all right, I'm going to move you guys. Ready? Okay. So y'all have seen my build right here. This is where I keep my markers, my paints. So here you can see all my paints right in here, broken out by pinks, purples, blues, greens, orange, yellow, brown, blues. They're all right in here, along with all my markers and, and everything. I built this out of a black foam board. Well, over here, see that? There, you can't see the last row. There's another row at the bottom of that. Ken built that for me. Uh, he doesn't make them anymore, but that's Ken built that. 
and it holds all, these are all my new paints. So these are the ones I replaced and those are my newest ones. So I know that these are full and ready to go. And then of course I have all these down here. Okay, so let's come back down here. Hope that didn't make anybody stizzy. Just look away. Okay, so anyway, um, I got these for 40%. I think they're regularly $10. Um, hi, Prisma. Good to see you. Good to see you, Prisma. Prisma, our little Prisma poet. So I left these out to show you guys before I put them in my um, tub over there. Okay. A couple other things. I don't want to forget today's Monday. We got to go through and pull out 10 more sparks of creativity. And we do that whenever we have a break or something. So I just don't want to forget. Let me put um, my little note here that I have every Monday, read 10 for five weeks. So I don't want to forget to do that. Okay. Um, I'll, let me show you my poster I'm working on. So if y'all did not see, I I did a video, about an hour-long video showing you um, this poster. And I am still, hi, Scoops. Hi, anybody else I missed, guys? I'm trying to kind of get all this preamble done uh, before, if y'all missed it, my daughter Denise is coming down. She'll probably be here about an hour and a half. And um, yeah, she's coming down on her day off, driving all the way down from North Georgia to bring me my Mother's Day gift because she said it's going to rain on Mother's Day. <laughs> she didn't want me driving in the rain. Uh, yes, it is a lot of work, Sean, on this poster. How That being said, I'm going to show you all my progress. I didn't get as much done on it this weekend. I left it out on my desk to work on it off and on, which I did do. But I had a lot of yard work to do. I planted my garden. Um and I, I want to, I'll start taking pictures of it every once a week. Uh, I put laid some more sod. You know, there's just, I, I just didn't have a lot of indoor time to do this. But I will show you how far I've got so far. The poster is 24 by 34. So it's a huge poster. And I've only worked right down here in this corner so far with um, a little bit. I did the, I did all the blue turquoise smoke all the way through. Um, I started, I wanted to decide how I was going to shade and color the orange and reds. So this is done right here. I did go through and make a uh, checkerboard on any place that had the checkerboard. I made that yellow and black all through every place that there's checkerboard. I went through and did that. Here comes cat. Baby can't go over there where the cords are. Um, uh, then I started trying to decide how I was going to do the pink. So you can see here, and it's a little flashed out, but there we go. That's There's the color better if I tilt it just a little bit. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, Kenny. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Victoria. Um, hi, Caroline. Thank you. I'm going to hang it. There's no, I have no, um, I have no, I have no wall space. My studio is literally floor to ceiling bookshelves all the way around. Uh, so I don't know what I'll do with him. No, baby. Okay, we're going to have to go out. Third time's a charm. He loves to go to the cords and try to disconnect me. Not on purpose. He doesn't know, but he loves the cords. Um, so anyway, I did do this flower here, and I did this pink here, this pink here. So all this right here is done. A little bit of the green. So from not not this not these bands here. I haven't done anything on their clothes yet, but everything other than the ribbons of clothes, all this, all this has been finished. Except I might put stars, <clears throat> I might put stars on the black. But this is where I'm heading. Uh, oh, thank you, Cheryl. Yeah. See, here's the thing, guys. I did that hour long video. I did an hour long video showing some progress on this. Not this part, but this part last week. I did it. I, you know, I mean, I got a lot of views, but it's not, you know, I don't know. I'm just not sure people like to watch a non live recording. I really want to do more like, you know, color book catch ups. But it seems like the live shows is what everybody wants. 
So I don't I don't know. Thank you, uh, Shuk Shuknoa. Where are you from, Shuknoa? I must have missed if you did say. Where are you from? Yeah, and I get a, I get quite a few, Jim. And I'm not saying nobody watches the recordings, but you know, it just seems like everybody likes the live shows. Oh, thank you, Jersey. And I, I just must have missed Sh Shaq no Noah. Um, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. It could be Shock Noah. It just sounds very exotic. Sounds like you got to be from somewhere uh, exotic with a name like that. Hi, Jillian. Oh, thanks for being here early if it's early for you. Thanks, guys. Um, that's a, po that's a poster for sale. <laughs> I don't know, Deb. It might be. It might be for sale after I'm done, but it's not going to be cheap, mister. <laughs> anyway, it's Nick's, um, you know, the, the one that does Serene and some of the other books. That's his real name, but he goes by Nick Filbert. <laughs> Talking a bit on it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, thanks, Kenny. Uh, so Nick, who does Serene and some other uh, books, let's talk dollars. <laughs> Let me finish it first, Deb. Let me finish it first. Um, okay. So anyway, there there is um, that that I'm working on. Okay. Next. Let's see what else am I doing next. Um, oh, let's put this over here. I don't want to lose that. All right. So we're going to do something. Uh, I'm going to say a little different. I have a glare right there because the uh, little uh, ring light. I'm going to do something different today. Not with this. I just want to show you this too. Um, a cat's hand of cords. <laughs> yeah, I know, Prisma. I know. Um, so anyway, we went to, um, we're going to the post office to mail out some stuff this weekend. So if you're expecting a book or a journal or whatever it is we did, gave away last week, Pacola, your big poster of yourself. <laughs> I mailed all that on Saturday. Mom's mom, your Mother's Day gift was mailed on um, Saturday. So I think you're supposed to get yours maybe today or tomorrow, Pacola. Mom is supposed to get hers on Tuesday. So anyway, um, on the way back, there was a church rummage sale. So we just did a quick peruse through and uh, I got a couple books. I love children's books. I collect them occasionally. My daughter, Annie, out in L.A. has um, a bookstore that she goes to, and she buys me uh, children's books out there. And uh, anyway, I came across this one that I do not have. I don't think I have it. I don't think I have it. I, I might, but I don't think I do. So I came across this, and I knew I know children's hardback books are always worth more than a dollar. If you see children's books, children's hardback books, they're always worth more than a dollar. So if you can get them. So I bought it, you know, for a dollar and I looked it up on Amazon. Let me see. I think I kept it for you guys. And I don't even know if it's still there. It was the only one. Uh, it was the only one I saw on Amazon. Um, I think I took a picture of it to show you guys. Did I? Did I? Where is it? No, I guess I didn't. I thought I had a picture of it. Ah, here it is. Yes, I did. So I looked it up on Amazon, and here's the price. There it is right there. Yeah, Terry, you beat me to it. Terry goes, it's 33 on Amazon. She got to it before I could. Oh, my gosh, girl. Girl, anyway. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, no, Terry. You're just you're so quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyway, it is uh it was a borders exclusive at the at the time of it. Borders sold it for $16.99. Um, and uh, I got it for a dollar. I got it for a dollar. <laughs> Yeah, Terry's not a mod for nothing. Exactly, Kenny. So anyway, uh, yeah, I got this for my children's book collection. <laughs> oh, my God. Snap, snap, turtles. That is so true. You girls are like snapping turtles. Okay. So there's that. <laughs> yeah, I got a good buy on that. 
Okay, so I pulled out the Posca. I just pulled out a few. Here's my little case of Poscas. I pulled out a few of them. I'm going to put them back in here. I just pulled them out for the thumbnail. Uh, I'm going to stick them back in here, except for my white. Here's my short, uh, the, the ones that have uh, five. Some of them have finer points than others, right? There's just different points. So here's all my Poscas. There's a gold. I have a golden, another gold and silver one in my... Um, in my build up there. So anyway, um, these are my Poscas and I, I pulled them out because we might use them today. We might, I have them just in case. So let me move this gouache over here for a minute. I got all my pencils here. These are all the pencils that I'm currently using with my poster. All right, so a few, a few um, years ago, we did, different we've done different kind of books uh jersey might like some of this all right jersey does um crafting and she does journaling okay D no the poscas didn't come uh in this case this is a, a case that um i think some what came in this something i forget what came in this case anyway no they didn't come in the case i don't think no they didn't because i've added some. all right look guys I, what am i gonna do i gotta just love him for a minute Okay, Robin. So anyway, we did a lot more art journaling back in the day, right? And um, Posca just released color pencils. Oh my gosh, Sean. Why'd you have to tell me that? Well, I'm sure Dev will be doing a, uh, <laughs> Dev will be doing a, uh, a, a haul and example video soon. If you don't beat him to it, Sean. Okay. Um, so we used to do a lot of, and y'all still see me do, magazine journals and uh different art journals and they're all if you go in my playlist i have a playlist for color books i have a playlist for mixed media i have playlists i have playlists for lots of things collage art cards so um if you want to see some of the art journaling hi dev devon devon rex that's hard to say um there's plenty of art journal videos uh, like uh, well here I'm, I'm not gonna go through this one but i'm gonna show you um if y'all want to see jersey crafter she i'm just promoting her because she's you know why not uh she's doing a she's call, we call them fibs she calls them pibs pips fit pibs yeah pibs because she's always going people 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 she says it a lot just gonna warn you <laughs> especially when she's shopping when she's shopping she's going look people people look at this people so she calls her fibs pibs anyway so she has <laughs> she has a um a, 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 a journal where she keeps track of her pibs i don't know if you've seen mine uh jersey now I'm not going to go through it all right now because I've done it many times. I started this one, <clears throat> it was probably like eight, nine years ago when I first started streaming on Ustream. I've only been on uh, YouTube for uploading, uploading to YouTube for about five years and only been doing live YouTube for about a year. I think that's, you know, I'm just kind of guesstimating. So anyway, <laughs> um. Uh, uh, you're welcome, Jersey. So anyway, Jersey has a, a Pibs book. Well, I don't know if you've ever saw my Fibs book. My Fibs book, Jersey, is called Fluffette. This is Fluffette. <laughs> this is, all this is, is a regular um, <laughs> uh, notebook, you know, a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, no, one of those uh, blank journals. <laughs> Let me just set it up this way. Uh, what do you call these books again? Oh my gosh. You know, the <laughs> Marie. So this is my Fibs book. And this was only when I had a hundred of uh, hundred followers at the time. So this is a hundred fibs at the time. And it's it's all different things they've sent, and it's different, their favorite colors, and um. Oh, and here, here's one I did see. Here, here's a picture. Let me find Julie. I'm Julie's not here this morning. I saw. 
Uh, but anyway, I, I used to do uh, collages. Here's, here's a double page spread of a collage. This was a double page spread of a collage. And what I did is I sent them the original collage. So I just have pictures of them. Composition book. Thank you, Diane. Think, think of it. Composition book. And uh, so this was a double page, eight and a half by 11, eight and a half by 11. I did a, um, and this was a, this folded over. And um, so anyway, I would do these collages of everybody. And if you missed, um, if you missed last week where I did a big poster of Pecola, I started doing those, I started just doing some whimsy painted poster all about you. But back in the day, I did them in collage. But anyway, so this is my, and I call it Fluffette. Um, <laughs> so anyway, it sits up on my shelf. And, uh, oh, no. Okay. I don't see it saying. Okay. Um, my screen says nothing. It is moving. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, I'm back. Okay, so, and I did notice that over the weekend, uh, Christine, there was a couple people that were having some buffering. No, no, it wasn't Christine. Christine, I don't think Christine had any. Uh, Dev had a little bit. Uh, anyway, so we've had a little bit of buffering over the weekend, so who knows why, but it's not showing me as low, um, you know, sometimes it says your connection is low and you've been disconnected. I didn't say that. Okay, you're welcome, Jersey. All right, so uh, this is one of my um, compilation of different things that I've done. This is it's just a sketchbook, and I've cut things out and read. A, you know, I got lists in here. I've got all kinds of stuff in here. But I was going to try to find you a piece of one of the one of the glue book slash art journal slash. Oh, there's that was some good foot drawing right there. Let me, let, me, let me get back to that. Where's that foot drawing? <clears throat> anyway, so we use there's some string art. Janet Janet showed some of her string art one day. Um, some of my art cards. I was hoping there were some in. Oh, there's my foot. I, don't, I like I like those feet. So anyway, um, I was trying to find some of the where I've done a combination. Where is it? Maybe it's toward the back. I thought some was in this book. Maybe I'm wrong. where I did combinations of sketching and gluing. Oh my gosh, I thought for sure it was in this book. Sorry guys, I guess it's not. I'm not sure what book I put, put them in there. Um, well, I've got hundreds of journals in here. Okay, um, yeah, and this is one of my, well, we won't, go, we, we won't get into calligraphy today. Okay, there's enough rabbit trails, don't we? All right. Well, anyway, so what it is, um, take a sketchbook. If anybody wants to do this too, uh, I have no plans specifically. No, no. Oh, I'm going to cut this or glue that or whatever. But what we do, okay, uh, Sean, you want me to, I don't have any food here. I don't eat till after the show. <laughs> I can't feed you anything. I get, I can give you some cranberry juice. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. <laughs> Hi, Danielle. Anybody else? I, mean, I think I said hi. Oh, hi, Norma. Good to see you. Hi, Cheryl. Sue. Anybody else I missed? Hi, Colleen. I'm trying to roll real quick through everything because Denise is going to get here and then we're really going to be distracted. Um, let's see. Oh, I still have to show you guys how to make this. I have a note here for the oversized TN. I don't know if we'll get to that today. All right. We always have so many projects. 
I am mama four. All right, baby, come on. Uh, you're going to have to get down. I know. I know. <clears throat> okay. So let me find something to uh, give some examples. Um, some uh, magazines. What else do I have here? Let's just get a random calendar or something here. Maybe I should just get my collage fodder out. Let me just get a let me get a bucket of collage fodder. Um, here we go. Okay. All right. Let's move the Poscas for a minute. We'll get to that today. So what this is, is, as you saw in the title, it's a glue book, mixed media, practice, collage sketchbook. It's a little of everything. And a lot of people, I always tell you, if you want to start collage and you've never done collage, if you start with an abandoned book, Oh, I'm sorry. If you start with a book to reverse collage on, I use the abandoned books. But if you start with a book to work in where you can reverse collage out, in other words, you get rid of all the details you don't want, background, text, whatever, and change it into another world. And I'm not going to go through a flip, but I'll just show you an example. <clears throat> So I just pulled Abandoned Civilizations here. Let me just find one that we're, I've got something done on here. Okay, so this, uh, here's an abandoned book, Abandoned uh, Civilizations, and I've changed it, okay? I've painted it out, I've reversed collage. So essentially what was here, the rocks, probably a field, um, you know, sky, so if you want to start collage, this is a good way to do it. You don't have to do an abandoned book. Pick a book or a topic or a theme or a subject that is interesting to you. I love abandoned books, abandoned places, abandoned civilizations. I love these type of books. But not everybody does. Hi, Mark. You need to pick a book. And even if you have to pay, you know, I get them on, you know, clearance and $12.99 and a couple of them been gifted to me. My duplicates have been gifted to me so that everybody can see uh, the before and afters. Um, but even if you have to pay $12.95 or $14.95 for a book like this, you're going to be working in it for probably some years. You're not going to finish doing that kind of work in a full book of, a, you know, 150 pages in a, in a week, a month, or, or whenever, right? So you have to plan for it for the long haul. And since you're planning on it for the long haul, you need to love the topic. You love, Hi, Faithful. You, <laughs> I like your muscle. <laughs> You've been working out? Oh, you're just giving the mods a salute. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you're so cute. Okay, so anyway, and we have shown magazine journals. I'll show you my tiny one here. Again, there's multiple flips through all these and places I've worked in them over the over the years. This is a magazine. Um, this is two magazines cut in half, glued together, so it looks this thick. Uh, I would recommend um, probably Abandoned Places, Danielle. I, that's the one I started in, so I love Abandoned Places, but I like all of them. Kiri and Connolly's books. So uh, I would recommend if you're going to cut magazines in half and, and, and bind them together, glue them and spine them together, that you take it to Staples or wherever you can get them cut in half. Mine are not, they're really not very neat. Can you see how choppy that is? I hand cut these with an X-Acto knife and a metal ruler. But it, you have to be real careful. You got to be patient. You got to slice, slice. It takes a while. And then it's never really perfect. If you take it down to Staples or uh, Office whatever or UPS store, they'll cut it for you for, I think, 2 to $3. And then it's perfectly straight, right? But anyway, so I've shown these where you take uh, cut up magazines and work in these. We've done the napkin journals. We've done just plain old. Um, just plain old, uh, 
art journals where you start and you, you start a journal and you just, um, you'll start from blank pages. You'll start from scratch and, and do things from scratch, right? And add things. And I've shown flips of all these. I'm not going to do it now. I'm trying to give a, um, a preface to what we're going to do. Okay. <clears throat> so get you a sketchbook. If you like collage, if you like just collecting images, you like to sketch, draw, doodle every now and then. This is the project for you. <laughs> um, I can't find my pages that I've shown before. Like I said, I thought they were in that one journal, but they're not. I'm looking around the room, not seeing where I put them. Because I literally have hundreds of books. I've shown, I've shown the room before. Okay, <clears throat> so what you do with, if you, I'm sure everybody knows what a glue book is. A glue book is just where you take and you um, you'll just glue things down you like. You can layer them, cover a page with just random stuff. My glue books are a little different in that I like to add drawings, doodles, painting, little sketching and stuff with it. Now, what you can do, this is just a sketchbook that I've been working in. You know, this one that has my uh, swatches in it and it's it's you know just kind of the newest one i started here's some mushrooms here's some chicks and some roosters bunnies and some pigs anyway um some funny faces so this is just um you know just a random sketchbook here's my gouache swatches then i have all my black widow pencils uh swatched which we are going to get to using those soon too so anyway, um, I have my Pecola question thing in here. So whatever sketchbook you want to do. I know you do too, Colleen. You, pack or die. We all love to collect our um, collage images and stuff. Let me straighten this out. Let me, um, I think I'll zoom in. No, I don't want to zoom in because I want to go through my stuff over here. Um, so there's all these things that you might like. Let me have, I have another magazine. Too. This one will probably be a good example. We'll find it. Um, hang on, guys. I'm over here on my shelf. Um, where is it? Hang on. Flipping. Flipping. I just bought a new one. Where is it? Where is it? Got my calendars. I'm looking for my new magazine of um, juxtaposition. I have two new juxtaposition magazines here somewhere, but I'm not finding them. Where did I put them? Hmm. Well, I don't know where they are. That is odd. Because I usually keep them right here. I'm not seeing them. Here's my Game of Thrones calendar. Oh, guys. Wow. What do I do with those two new men? Ah, they're over here. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> Okay. Hi, fructose. And uh, oh, I'm out of breath now. Hi, Gary. Hi, fructose. And uh, what was the other one I just mentioned? Oh, my gosh. Anyway, I love these magazines. They're a little odd. Uh, I like them because I just like different kind of art. Got to kind of be careful, though. Sometimes they might have, uh, you know, a little bit of nudity. I don't want anybody to get offended. They usually have little books, that, booklets in them. And uh, so anyway, these are, these are good uh, for lots of bright pieces, bright bits. And again, I don't use the images as they are. What I'll do is, let me find something that I'll give you a good example. Oh, I need to find something really colorful. Um, this one might do. 
I'll just use this as an example. I mean, I got tons right here, but I just want to tear something out to show you. Um, you can use it calendars, magazine pages, old books. If you have tons, if you're a collage person, you have lots of books, lots of collage fodder. Okay, so, but what you can do, let's just do, I'll show you. You like these colors. You're not trying to emulate or use or whatever the images themselves, but you might like these colors. So you might want to keep this. You might want to glue this down. You might want it to be, this could be a stock for another something. So um, let me get my glue stick. The other thing I would recommend, I don't know if anybody has them anymore, and I don't know if I can get to mine. Um, I can't reach it. I don't know if it's well. Anyway, if you have, if anybody still gets phone books, I have them downstairs. I keep the phone books just for the purpose of doing gluing. I don't do a lot of this kind of gluing anymore because most of the time, most of the time when you see me do my abandoned books or when you see me do just art journaling in general with collage, I use golden matte media. And that was so funny. Jersey Crafter finally found her some at Michael's when I was with her. I mean, I was with her online. And I was going, no, no. She goes, should I get the gel? She's asking everybody, should I get the gel medium? I'm going, no, no. You need the matte medium. It's thinner. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, you don't, Cheryl. Hang on. And so anyway, she found it. <laughs> Uh, you don't, I know, isn't it awesome? So anytime I'm doing collaging and big pieces, big, um, like here, let me grab one of these. When I'm doing my big, when I'm doing my big, I can't get the whole thing under here. When I'm doing big posters of collage. Um, get a smaller one. Here, get this one smaller. <clears throat> So when I do the posters of collage, and all this is done, all this is glued down with golden matte medium. It's not a glue stick. <clears throat> but if you want a sketchbook, doodle book, idea kind of generating, just sketching, doodling, idea collecting kind of thing, you can just use a glue stick. Now, I can't find my phone book because what's nice about a phone book is you can... Uh, turn something over and glue it, and then you don't have to worry about going off the edge and getting the glue everywhere. And then you just turn the page in the phone book. So you don't have any glue mess, you know. You just turn the page and go to another thing. Okay, so you might just like those colors. Get you a full sketchbook. Get you a nice, big, inexpensive sketchbook where you can do this just whenever you feel like it. You don't have to think about it. Uh, I love the plastic bag. Oh, yeah. If you put a plastic bag, here we go. We go back to Christine's comment. If you put a plastic bag over your lid, you'll never have it stick. It'll come right off. If you don't do this and you have even the slightest bit of glue on the rim, you're going to glue your lid shut. A lot of people will put Vaseline around it. That, I don't like all that goopiness. I don't like that under my lid. You know, so I don't do that method. And you just stick a baggie over it, put the put it on, and you're good to go. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know it, is, it really is. And Jersey, I gotta tell you, and anybody else that's kind of new or hadn't heard the story, you know, back, you know, when I first started streaming, you know, around nine years ago on Ustream, um, I used my golden matte medium for my collage. And it's expensive. And there was a year when Hubster was out of work. I could not buy these $25 bottles, you know, even with a coupon. And uh, so I, I wrote, and I don't know if they still have this program or not. Y'all can look into it. But Golden used to have this uh, artist affiliation, uh, artist help kind of thing that they would do. And if you wrote or emailed them, you could go and they'd have a tab for artist helps or artists. I don't, I forget what it was called. This was years ago. And you could, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you all that too. Pour it in. Also pour your matte medium. Anybody that's new and didn't, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, Terry says she's taking many screwdrivers to those lids. Also, guys, pour it in a dish soap bottle. Then you can just pop it open and squeeze out how much you like. This is, um, that's an awesome tip. Um, on, the on the cover I made, matte medium on the journal cover. The newest one that you just posted, did you put, uh, I didn't see the video, Faithful. I just saw the pink. Is it a pink cover? Is that the one you're talking about? I saw the cover. I haven't watched the video. I saw it on Instagram, I think. So anyway, um, so I, I went on Golden's site and they asked what kind of product you use or would like to have when they have extras of, they, they give them to you for free. You have to fill out a lot of form. I mean, a lot of information. You have to talk about when you, do you stream? Do you vlog? Do you blog? Do you do YouTube? They want to know all that stuff because they want to see their product used, right? Hi, Rosalind. Hi, Rita. Anybody else I missed? Hi, Nanamo. And so they... So they contacted me and said, okay, yeah, we have Matt Medium. You have to pay shipping. I said, okay, you know, camp, you know, to get a few bottles of Matt Medium and just pay the shipping. So she said it was like, I think it was, I think it was $27. That's sticking in my head. I think it was $27 shipping for free Matt Medium. And I thought, even if they send me three bottles, I'm 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 ahead, right? So I sent the, I sent the, I, you, you do it on the phone, you give them your credit card and you pay for your shipping. So, um, well, you could do it probably email too. I did it on the phone. Um, uh, it, it is a, an acrylic medium, Sean. I use it for glue. Um, it, you can use it and mix it in with your acrylics. You can, there's a lot of purposes for it. I personally only use it for glue. It's the best. If you've seen me do any collaging, it's always with a uh, golden matte medium. So anyway, um, I gave them my information. And so they shipped it out and came, I don't know, maybe a week later. It was two huge cases. I think it was a total of uh, Terry or somebody remember, I think, or Julie would if she was here. 48, 48 jars not the little one i just showed you not this size <laughs> not this size the big size the big size 48 of them and guys over the years i think it took me about it probably took me about four to five years i used every single one of them i've used all 48 jars of that golden matte medium in my collage yeah colleen yeah colleen would remember so, um, yeah, uh, that shows you how much I've collaged over the years. So it took about five years to use 48 big, twice this size, the big ones, the big jars. And I used every one of them. <laughs> I did an unboxing, uh, but it's all, it was on Ustream. That, that was before I started uploading to YouTube, so it's not on YouTube. Um. <laughs> I know, right? I know. And so I think I think it was Joycey that started calling me Golden's Girl. Calling me Golden's Girl. <laughs> I mean, I love that stuff. It's the only thing. I mean, like I said, I'll use a glue stick for just a sketchbook or something like that. But when I'm doing an abandoned, a altered, a collage, a collage poster, any other kind of gluing other than just a sketchbook, it is with golden matte medium, and I just cannot stress it enough. <laughs> okay, so anyway, let's get back to the glue book sketchbook. All right, so for an instance, so y'all know I, I was doing those that, um, well, let's just give you an example here. Let me go back to it. Where is that? Let's move this back over here. I keep my piles organized or I'll never, never find anything. Okay, so y'all know I've been working on, this is what we were working on last Wednesday when I got rudely disconnected from YouTube. So I am not haven't worked anymore on it. People are going, oh, I wanted to see the rest of that. I wanted to see the end of that page. Okay, we're flashed out. What's wrong? What's wrong with my uh, camera settings here? Uh, let's look here. 
It's auto focused. Hmm. Don't know what the dealio is here. Turn the brightness down just a tad, maybe. Okay, so um, so I did not work on this anymore. Are they waiting for you to call back? No. <laughs> Golden, you mean? No. It's to help artists, and you're at the same time, you're promoting them. Uh, also, guys, if you do, they're, they're particularly seem to like blogs. Written blogs. If you use um, if you use deco art products, deco art also has a similar type of artist program. So you know, contact them. Contact people that you that the supplies that you use, and you know they'll they used to send out a lot uh, deco art. They used to send out a lot of supplies for people that did YouTube videos and blog. I don't know if they still do. I haven't kept up with that. Uh, book was so cute with books. Thank you. Uh, okay, Kenny. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, I, I just stopped working on this because I said I'd finish it. I typed it in the in the chat after I got disconnected. I said, well, we'll just go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and, and finish this on a show. So what I just pulled that out as an example. Let me get a pencil here. Um, I don't want to use my blue pencil. I just want a regular, yeah, just a regular pencil. So, and you can do this kind of thing. Fill up a sketchbook. Fill it up. Fill the whole thing up, front and back, with just random. We're going to do more gluing here in a minute. With random things that you like. If it's a flower, if it's a bird, if it's just a strip of color, whatever it is that you like. Go through your magazines that you just want to get rid of. You want to recycle them. You got too many of them. Um, then go ahead and just start gluing things down. Front and back, back and front. Just glue, slap it down. Slap it down with a glue stick. And then go back when you feel like it and start doing, um, and then start doodling. Like I'm just looking at that uh, that artichoke that we that I had over here. and And just start... Start sketching, doodling, and it can be with pen, it can be with pencil. The idea is for your imagination. This is not necessary, and, and, and for ideas. It's not necessarily that, oh, this is going to be a finished piece or anything like that. Okay, it's for you to st strike up your imagination. Really, I do want some smaller, small ones. I want this to fit on the page. Um, it's, it's to just use your imagination See what, you know, what it comes to your mind. Okay, so I got a tight little pencil there. And then you can go back in here with your gouache, with your markers, with whatever, and color it in. But the idea is to use, run with your imagination. Okay, you could use these colors. You could put gouache on it and then your Poscas. There's just lots of things you can do. And we'll get more into the gouache when we get back to doing these, right? Right now, I just want to show you a glue book, uh, sketchbook, mixed media collage. So have you, everybody, every artist should have at least one sketchbook where it's just, you could go in there and scribble on any page and not feel bad about it. Okay, let me, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do this side because I want to keep my collage here. Otherwise, I'd be doing front and back, back and front. Okay. Bye, Victoria. Thank you. You too. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, Lizette, I'm sure I'm missing people because I'm trying to squeeze all this in before my daughter comes down. Hi, Victoria. I mean, bye, Victoria. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Uh, let's see. Who else am I missing? I'm sure I'm missing some people in and out. So uh, thanks, everybody. You know what I did? I forgot to tweet. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Coffee and art in the morning. That's the name of my show, in case y'all didn't know. Coffee and art in the morning. And I always have coffee right here. I forget to show it. <laughs> coffee and art in the morning. Live. And I stream every Monday and Wednesday at the same time, guys. 8.30, 9 
between 8 30 and 9 every Monday and Wednesday. Okay. Um, so if you don't get a notification, just know unless something happens, and if something happens, I will tweet that I'm not streaming. Is yourself, you're good enough for your own art journal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, where's my little there we go. link in profile? I try to remember to tweet um, for new people. But. Oh, thank you so much. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope you get lots of ideas. We, we, you know, we try to share and, you know, have fun with the fibs. Um, yeah, don't talk in caps unless you're talking to me, guys. Uh, I just saw uh, somebody say that. Do I usually sleep? Oh, well, thanks, Lizette, for being here. Thank you, Devin Rex. All right, so let's just go through here. I got random collage stuff, and it can just be, you know, this is stuff that I'll use, and I've got bins and bins and tubs and tubs of this stuff. Now, Denise comes and sees my stacks. I know I'm showing y'all. Let me just take a quick picture over here. When she sees this, she's going to want to, she won't have time. Thank, thankfully, she won't have time. She won't have time to, uh, let me move this fan, uh, to come in here. <laughs> she won't have time to come in here and um and start throwing things away because she will do that i'll try to zoom in on the collage bits here um yeah this is over in my corner <laughs> these are Tub, 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 box, box, bin, bin, tub, 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 tub of my collage fodder. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to just go through here. Like, look at this. This is off the range. This is off of the uh, one of the journals, right? But look at these colors. Like, I love these colors. I don't want that sticker in there. But I love, like, this bit. You know, and you just, if you just like it, if you just like it, save it. I don't want that. And uh, <laughs> is today throw away day? No, it's not throw away. It, it, Denise is coming over, but she doesn't have time to do throw away day with me. Um, <laughs> because uh, she has to get back. She has to get back by one, so and it's an hour and a half drive or thereabouts, depending on traffic. She said she'd be here about 10.30. She's coming down, if y'all missed it. She's coming down to bring me my Mother's Day gift because she doesn't want me driving up in the rain next weekend. It's supposed to rain anyway. <laughs> yeah. So if you just like something, maybe, you, you know, you like that and you like, um, what else could I show you? Some just random things. It has some pretty kind of teal color in it, and it has pink. Let me get my let me get some pink here. It has these kind of tealy colors. You might like those colors together. So you say, well, I want a little bit of this. Let's put a little bit of, you know, mm, like a gift card. Let's just scrape those in there. It's all, it's just all about, you know, like you like these colors. Um, you know, you might just do that just for the ideas. Remember, guys, this is not to make a finished piece. This is like, oh my gosh, I love pink and teal together. There you go. Look at that paper. Don't cover up. Your, oh, my name, Dee Dee. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let me get a baby wipe. And baby wipes, too, are my other tool of choice. And I just use Huggies Natural. Don't get ones with aloe or soap because they're going to be they're going to be squishy and soapy. But a baby wipe, you can do so much blending. You can get so much. Uh, you can do so much with a baby wipe. Okay. So... Just, you know, just FYI, a baby wipes are awesome. 
<laughs> so what you what the idea is here, well, let me dry this because I don't want to stick my pages together. What the idea here, guys, is to have a full, fill up a book. Just sit and just glue. You don't even have to do the painting part yet. Just, you know, if y'all, have y'all watched, how many of y'all have watched um, Shannon's Journaling by Five? I know a lot of you here have. Um, and what she makes you do in five minutes of, she gives you five minutes, and I don't even remember what they are now, guys, because it's been so many years since I did it. Five years of, I mean, five years, five years of gluing, five minutes of gluing, five minutes of paint, five minutes of sketching. Anyway, when I made mine five years ago, um, I cut them all up and sent them to Shannon. I, I cut them all up and sent them to Shannon. I don't know what she ever did with them, but I sent her a big stack of art cards made from her journaling by five idea. The pink paint, um, let's see. peony pink, Americana Deco Art peony pink. Bye, Sean. Okay, so you got something like this, and let's you know you have this leftover bit here. Oh, well, I like that little bit of pink. I might just glue that down. So the idea again, guys, is fill. Fill a sketchbook. Just get the you know cheapest one. I you know I've done it with uh, composition books. I've done it with you know sketchbooks. This is just a Hobby Lobby one that I got for fifty percent off. Normally it's eleven ninety nine, so fifty percent off. You know six bucks, right? And you know and there's a lot of pages, and it's it's just a little bit more better quality than just copy paper or uh, composition paper. And uh, so then you can go in here and you can draw, you can doodle, you can sketch, you can letter, you can journal, you can do whatever you want. But it's it's the ideas. It's don't don't feel like oh I have to make this beautiful book filled with just beautiful perfect drawings, because you'll you'll just sabotage yourself. Okay. All right. So let's just keep rolling here. I'm gonna just find some random things like. Um, of course, y'all know I love jewelry parts. I mean, um, mechanicals and watch parts. So, you know, just, uh, <clears throat> just whatever strikes your fancy. Don't really, don't overthink it too much. If you like something, just pull it. And, and people that do glue books, I don't do them a lot. Uh, and when I do glue books, it's usually in, in, in conjunction with other things like what we're doing here. But people that do glue books will tell you, just pick you a magazine, tear out, cut out. If you want to go through magazines and make you a pile of, um, if you want to make you a pile of um, things first and then go back in and then, oh, hi, Julie. My little leftover paint journal is filling up. You're going to have a fluffette. <laughs> Julie, you're going to have a fluffette. Um, they'll tell you don't really think about it too much just go in there and find something you like and then just keep moving on you want to like I said the idea of fill up fill up a whole book fill up a whole book and then go back and do things with it because then you can flip through and doodle you can have it when you're watching TV and just sit there just sit there and play on your book. Yeah, another fluff it. And you just put one thing on, go to the next page. That's what I'm trying to kind of hurry here just to get the ideas down. Here's some cool wood. Now, I was kind of saving this for a collage, but uh, I'm, I'm really liking it. I like this driftwood here. And I do like the uh, Yoohoo uh, glue sticks. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's white, blue, or purple. There, it, all the glue in it's good. So uh, let's do it this way. Yeah, fill your book and and play later. And you can just sit and just do this, you know, while you're watching TV or watching a video. You know, usually it's for me, it's watching um, YouTubers. You know. Put one, two thing. You can overlap. I'll, I'll do a couple different variations here. Okay. 
just glue, sit one thing down. Now, on this little piece here, it almost looks like something underwater, under sea, you know? So I might, you know, think about, you know, taking it and making it. Maybe that's the end of a mermaid tail. I could, this could be a mermaid tail. Here could be the mermaid here. Here could be the tail. You know, it, it just get the idea down. You know? Moving on. Uh, some of y'all have been doing jelly plating. Take some jelly plated papers. Let's pull a couple out here. This is uh, jelly plated deli papers. So, and look, there's a pretty rose. That look, just right there. Look at that right there. I love that right there. We're, we're rolling with it. Don't forget to wish your daughter as today a happy nurse. Okay, that's my daughter that's in LA. I did not know today was uh, Nurses Day, Vicki. I will have to uh, put that on Facebook for her. I'll find a Nurses Day something. Yeah, my daughter out in LA. Um, is a is a um, RN and Miss Vicky is as well. So yeah. So happy Nurses Day to you, Miss Vicky. Okay, so I, I don't really want to do it. I need my phone book because see this is going to make a mess on my desk. And a phone book, you just flip the page. Um, It's all week. Okay. And you can also, let me get a clean one though. You can take a baby wipe if you get glue and just kind of, you know, mash it down there. So you see, you can just do all kinds of stuff. Okay. All right, Gary. Thank you. Yeah, there's a nurse day. Well, there's a nurse's day. Vicki says this is nurse's week. So yeah, I'll make sure and post something to her. Thank you for that reminder. So, so there you go. That's all I'm going to do on that page for now. You just have to go through and find things, you know, just find things that you, that you like. Let me go downstairs and see if I can find a phone. Well, no, I don't want to do that. Let me just get, uh, I'll just use this because I'll just, I've got, uh, this is stacks of uh, paper here. I just don't want to make it too big of a mess. Let's move that because everything will start sticking. <clears throat> everything will start sticking to the front. So again, these are just jelly plated. Deli papers. I put my graduation pick up. Oh, did you? Can I show? Well, if it's on IG, I can show it. All right, let me show y'all Miss Vicky B's. She said she put her uh, nurse's graduation picture up on IG. Let's go over there. Miss mm. Vicky. Oh, Miss Vicky, look at you. She said, I wanted to be a nurse since I was 16. Oh. There's Miss Vicky in her nurse's graduation. Y'all make sure and go follow Miss Vicky B. It's Miss Vicky B, the number two. There. Oh, I know. How cute. Just look how happy you are. <laughs> and I know you are just as happy when you every time you you uh, look at your children. Because I see that. I see you talk about how happy you are with, with having them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so there we go. That might be all I want to do on that for now. I'm just looking for things I like. Just looking for different. Here's some different ones. I like that. Well, maybe I'll glue that down. You know, just whatever. So this is to make an inspiration type, like we don't have enough inspiration notebooks, right? But I want you to make an inspiration sketchbook. So if you're in the Society of Idea Collectors, here's another one. 
you know, um, make you a glue book, collage, sketchbook, doodle book. And then if you just come across this and you go, hmm, yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and just make some petals that go around. You know, it, it's just doodling. Then you might want to fill this in. You might want to fill that in with color, you know, whatever. It's to make you, it's the process, guys. It's the process that will uh, stir your creativity. I don't ever want to hear anybody say that I don't have an imagination. Because it's just not true. Okay, here's a here's a piece of a watch that I used. Well, uh, I usually like to make these into portals when I take the take the watch out then I leave the rim usually makes a good portal so we'll put that right there and again I'm taking a, a baby wipe and kind of making sure I got the glue off because I'm picking up glue over here I know and that's so true Christine okay so uh, what else oh, look at, I just like that maybe it's stairs It just, it was just sitting right there on top. This was just sitting right there on top of my piles. Okay, next. It could just be, let's see, let me get past all these mechanicals and watch parts. Here is a random coat on a chain, on a keychain. I don't know, or here's an umbrella handle. You know, I kind of like that coat. And um, if you like fashion, the, the book that I was looking for are the pieces that I had taken out of another sketchbook and put in another sketchbook. Had a lot of people, uh, had a lot of, um, what do you call it, um, fashion magazine. Maybe I'll do a couple of those just to show you. I don't like to, I just don't use a lot of fashion magazines. I love this. Here we go. Here's another half one there. I, I like this one better. But if you like fashion magazines, then take a fashion magazine. Take out. Where's my new fashion? Remember, I bought one. I hadn't bought one in years, so I bought a new one for our sketching project that we did last week. Hi, Joycey. Anybody else? Yes, a lobster jacket. It could put lobster uh, legs on here, Joycey. <laughs> but, um, all right, here's a good one. Let's just take this page here. So if you like doing, if you like doing um, fashion girls, so you can take parts of fashion images and you can redraw draw the draw the bottom half or you could draw the top half if you cut you know like this you could finish drawing the top half or you can do multiple combinations so let's see it's getting sticky over here all right, so let's go to another page. So we can do this. I'm going to go ahead and take that off so it will fit. Okay. And you can pick one of these girls. Okay, and then draw it in. Fashion is used rather loosely by some fashion. <laughs> hi, great. Hi, Katrina, Tanya. I think I said hi to May. Who else am I missing? Thanks, everybody, for popping in. We're just doing a little glue book, uh, mixed media, sketchbook idea collecting thing. Okay, so you can do this. You can take... And then take your pencil and you could, you know, just draw her out.
and start. You just it's just to play, guys. It is to give you ideas. Okay, I'm starting to glue everything down here. I'm getting a lot of glue going on. Um flowers like this. Denise should be here soon, guys. I'm excited to see her. Moving on. Again, you want to just spend sit and, and sit and turn on a video and don't really think about it. Just flip through a pile of, of collage fodder or a magazine. Take a magazine and just flip, flip, flip through a magazine and tear out anything. I wouldn't recommend, I would just recommend tearing too. You can cut if you want, but if, if you tear, you're going to be less precious with it. Look, here's a Van, it looks like a Van Gogh, piece of a Van Gogh painting from a calendar. Um, you'll just be less precious with your ideas if you just slap them in. Um, where's my um, baby wipe here? I'm going to get rid of excess blue that I'm getting everywhere. Countdown today's possibly 30. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Yeah. I don't know what she, uh, well, I, we'll see what she, uh, she did tell me something that she was thinking about getting me for Mother's Day, but she didn't say for sure she got it. So I'm not going to say. Um, so, okay. So there we go. All right. Let's see. Here's just a little bit of text. And you can go, you know, you can make up a second pass through. After you glue this down, go back through the book and make a second pass. I've been watching Celebrity Art Challenge on the Big Painting Challenge. Pacola, my, um, it hasn't been on, uh, what is it called again? I forgot the name of the channel. I, I, I went through the channel and it's not on my channel that that's been on. Um, ovation through BBC and Ovation. Last year, I got like tons of reruns from the previous year. What I think it is, Pacola, is if it's a brand new one, I don't know if I have the right channel to, to see the new ones. Um, if you sent me your address and I answered you back, Katrina, then yes, you are. Um... It, it's a BBC show, Jersey, where, and there's two different ones. There's a, there's a landscape one. Now, this one is a celebrity one. I don't know for sure the one she's talking about. I'm not sure if it's on Ovation. It's not on Ovation. I've looked. There's a landscape challenge and a portrait challenge. And what it is, it's in the UK, and there's two different challenges. I mean, two different shows, right? One is where they take... Um, they take people uh, that are artists or even part-time artists or, you know, some are professionals, some are not, and they have a celebrity sit for them. They have a celebrity sit for them, not on TV in use, but you can watch it on YouTube. Okay. Okay. I'll go back and get that Pacola or if you'll tweet it to me. Um, and it may be ones that I've seen already. Is it the one that... Um, Graham Norton is the final Pacola. Graham Norton is the final uh, person that they're going to draw for the big reward. I've watched, yeah, I've watched all the episodes that I know of on uh, YouTube, Mark. But I watched it on Ovation Channel via BBC on my cable last year. And they have a landscape one and the celebrity portrait. So they're new shows. Okay. All right, Pacola. I'll go. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll follow your YouTube links. It's on a YouTube art look. Okay. Thanks, guys. Because I love those shows. I watched every Because what they would do last year is I'd show one every morning. I think it was like at 8 or 8.30. And I'd have to record it on the days I stream. So I'd watch it up to like 8. 
and then I'd have to watch the rest of it after my show. I, re I would record it. But oh my gosh, those are two of my favorite shows ever. I love those shows. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let's see if I'm getting that glue down. All right, let's see. Here's some uh, clouds. Let's go with this. It just goes with this page. And again, guys, just put one image, random image. I think I'll go this way with it. Hi, Deborah. Let's uh, see, I said hi to Azure. Uh, okay, Mark said this one is regular people doing different paint and then they have what celebrities doing the painting okay i uh, yeah i don't think i've seen those then mark I'll, I'll look for it though i love those kind of shows okay so here's some different things from probably Daph daphne's diary so and then same for this one here's just a little thing here i like the color so i like this little yellow chair it says coast Maybe I like one of these on top. Let's see. Tear this out. Again, my table here, my, my backboard here is getting very gluey. Let's go this way. Like the colors, you know. Um, I'm trying to keep it so I'm not sticking everything down. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not coming back to Walking Dead Faithful. Sorry. Glenn was the end of the Walking Dead for me. <laughs> I was in the middle of drawing them all, too. I was doing fan art of all of them. I got to Glenn and... Um, uh, uh, I, I'm thinking of his real name. Uh, I haven't watched it in what now a, over a year. When was when it when Glenn, Daryl, Glenn, I drew Glenn, Daryl, and I had some others mapped out, ready to sketch out. And then after Glenn, no, no, no desire. It was not it, after after what happened to Glenn, and um, it it was no longer entertainment for me. It just was no longer entertainment. It's like. No, it's no longer entertainment. So I quit watching it. Okay, let's see. Oh, look, I cut these little suitcases out. And what's this say? Travel as much as you can. Let's just float, throw all these down. So, yeah, sorry. Sorry, uh, faithfulness. If Even if I just like the lettering. Look at the blue and green lettering. I don't think I even want these suitcases there because I want to do lettering there. Um, let's see. Where's a? Let me just get a. Uh, let's get a blue. That's good. And maybe a lime green, an olive green, maybe an olive green. And see, just even doing this and say, oh, I like those colors together. Get a lighter one. It's like the same one. Let's see, different color green. So just looking at this, this could be a very cool color combination, right? The Art Lover channel posts all the video views. That is that the name of the Art Lover channel? Is that the name of the YouTube channel, Azure? So, you know, just whatever, whatever strikes your fancy. Okay, again, here's another page of uh, flowers out of um, 
Daphne's diary. Let's see, here's something else out of it, a little bundles of words. Liking this, let's tear it down to fit. I'll do two pieces there. <laughs> it says it tore that weird way. Some up here, some down here. Get rid of the blue. Maybe do some dark blue here. I sent you the link last week. Oh, is that the link for the for the uh, channel? I don't remember, Azure, if, that that was this, you know, that that was the, what do you call it, uh, competition show. Okay, journal here. <clears throat> something like that just whatever it's to fill up a whole book of just random here's some random feathers oh, look at this jewelry here this looks like feathers let's tear this one out i think i'll cut it so i can do it quickly here. That's so cool. Let's have one going one way. Let's go this way, this way. No, it's got to be this way. I got a touch. So just, you know, the idea is not to overthink it. And I'm kind of thinking about it some because I'm trying to show you lots of different variations. But try not to overthink it when you just glue this stuff down. All right, there you go. I don't know what it'll be later. Um, here's some old, this is some old scrapbook paper with um, calligraphy scrapbook paper. I've got so much scrapbook paper, guys. You have no idea. Because you remember, I used to scrapbook the grands. I have like 25 thick three ring binder scrapbooks full, full of the grands. So I have tons, tons of scrapbook paper because <laughs> I don't scrapbook them anymore. You know, now they're just like, I, you know, I'm lucky to print a few. F I mean, I take pictures on my phone. But um, if you if you really want to ha keep. Oh, I like that. Let's go back down here. If you really want to keep. Um, I like this somehow. If you want to keep uh, some pictures and not lose them, you need to make sure you print some off, some of your favorites or something, because, you know, if you ever lose Facebook, Instagram, you lose it, your pics are gone, people. I mean, look at Flickr. We thought Flickr would be around forever. And then they kind of went away. Then they combined with somebody. Of course, I haven't used Flickr in years, but, you know. So you just never know. You never know. Um, Devin. Devin Rex. I will tell you a secret in scrapbooking. You want to know a secret? Do not try to go back to the beginning and, and start like, let's just say your kids are 20. Don't go back to their birth and try to catch up. Start when they're 19 and work your way back. That's, a, that's the biggest tip I could tell you. If they're 20, start when they're 20 or 19 and go 18, 17, 16. If you try to start from when they were born, maybe do one page of when they were babies and then start working your way backwards. You will never catch up because you will get so discouraged. You'll exactly, Terry. You'll get so discouraged trying to hurry up and catch up to where that because they're always continuing on. You will never catch up. Maybe do one or two baby picture layouts or something 
but then start when they're now and work your way back. Yeah. Okay, so here's Julie saying the app she's used for five years called Shoebox is shutting down this month. Just got notification over the weekend. So, you know, you got to move all those pictures, move them, print them, save them, download them. It's kind of like if y'all remember when you stream um, said, okay, you guys can only have, uh, and it was very minimum, a minimum amount of storage space. You can have so much so storage space and then all that, all, everything to, previous to that is going to be deleted. And we had years. I had four years of videos on Ustream. We were scrambling people, all of us. All of us used to scrambling. I got me, I went out and bought me an external hard drive, downloading those videos. You And we had a month. We had one month to say four years of three to four to five hour videos. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hope so. I hope, yeah, there is the cloud, Terry. Yeah. But you never know. You never know, right? <laughs> the great Ustream scramble. Yeah. Uh, that was something. Yeah. Yeah, you can put them on thumb drives. But, you know, here's another thing. All right. So when I was doing all my scrapbooking, I should pull. Let me. Let's do a rabbit trail. I know some people like rabbit trails. Some don't. But some of that trash. Hang on. Let me go. Let me go get something here. Hang on. Okay. I just pulled two random scrapbooks. We're going to do a, a random <laughs> rabbit trail. So I have, um, I have like 25 of these books full of scrapbooking pages that I did for years. I don't know which is the older one. Okay. So let's see. I'll show y'all. Y'all want to see a couple of scrapbook pages? Some people love seeing my scrapbook pages because I don't show them very often. So I, um, I don't bring out the grands very <laughs> Let me prop it up so there's not a glare there. There's not a glare. And um, so this is how I would work. I would work on 12 by 12 pages, although there are some eight and a half by 11. I would also do Project Life. So I would do all of them. I would mix Project Life sleeves with little pockets, eight and a half by 11, because all the... Um, because they're all the same size three ring notebook, right? Okay. So um, this was Boo's first day in junior high. So, <laughs> uh, and any excess note, because I was in a lot of groups on two Ps, I was in a lot of scrapbooking, um, a lot of scrapbooking groups and stuff. Most of the private information is on the back. If I wanted to write notes or anything, I'd put it on the back pages because I was posting all my pages all over the place. So I didn't put a lot of personal information on them. Uh, sometimes there's a date, sometimes, and I don't even know which one books I'm showing you here. I might skip a couple pages because I don't want to show those. So, um, but all my pages are very scrappy. The torn edges, rolled edges, um, this had to be, so she would have been uh, 12 and she's 16 now. So, yeah, this would have been like four years ago. 12, no, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is probably about five years ago. She's getting ready to be a junior in high school. So, um, thank you, Jeremy. Yes, we know that. Um, but, Jeremy, this isn't the place for that. So thank you. We know, we know Jesus. Yeah, we know Jesus. Thank you. Thanks, mods. <laughs> um, so here's Boo and Denise when they went shopping. Again, this is probably about the same time frame. This is in winter. 
Oh, this was 2014, so five years ago. So yeah, I was, I was pretty correct here, five years ago. And then Boo was also in professional um, competition cheer. So here's some of the her pictures from five years ago, some of her competition uh, pictures. This is when they won a competition here. Um, and this, see, this is uh, the this is the uh, Project Live pages. So there's just some pretty color cards here. No writing on these. Um, you know, her friends and her competition. Here's where they won. There's there's Boo right there. Um, different um, championships. See, I want to I wanted to do a write up on there. Um, here's when my mom. I don't know if mom's still here. Mom flew in, and I did this page. You are my greatest cheerleader, or you are my great cheerleader because she's her cheerleader and she thinks of her as her because she's her cheerleader. Because if y'all don't know, competition cheer is very expensive. <laughs> and so mom, mom would help pay for a lot of booze cheer. Um, the competitions, the travel, the uniforms, it's it's very expensive. So anyway, mom was her cheerleader and that was her cheerleader. So there's just a random page there. Uh, and I call Boo my Boo because she was always so tiny. Boo is still tiny. She's very little. And um, so different. Here's one, a competition from Atlanta. Um, this, this is funny because this was my very first Instagram picture. 2014. I don't remember when I started my Instagram, but this was the very first picture I put on my Instagram. So it's just got little uh, sequins. This was a die cut. Um, father daughter dan uh, dance. Here's mom and Denise and Ken. So you see, I like a lot of negative space. You don't have to fill everything up, but I have lots of layers. Now, when you layer stuff, if anybody still does scrapbooking, when you layer stuff, you don't have to have full sheets of paper. This is just a strip. This is just a piece. So you can have just different little bits. Who needs to look at this? Oh, uh, Cheryl, they they um, they have a lot of their own books because I made them for Denise. I've made her lots of books. Um, but they came down. Uh, the last time they came, well, no, it had to probably be about, I don't know, maybe it's about a year ago. They both came down and I said, do y'all want to look at the scrapbooks? And they went, eh, you know, so, but when they started looking at them, you know what they did? They started taking pictures of the pages with their phone and Snapchatting them. So they were Snapchatting these. <laughs> taking them, they wanted them on their phone. They want like the pictures. They wanted them on their phone. They didn't want these books. And it's the same thing for Annie in L.A. I said, Annie, don't you want me to make you and Logan and uh, Dan a scrapbook? She went, no. I go, but I'll, I'll do all the work. No. You don't want to? No. She didn't want a book. She did not want a book in her house. So no, she's and both Ann, Annie and Denise, uh, and you wouldn't know because of my, my room in here. They're very, um, they like minimalist. They like minimalist. Carol, I've had Sue's, which I have not heard from Sue's very much since her neck surgery. I hope she's okay. I messaged her one time. She didn't answer me. So I hope Sue's is okay. Sue's has been here. Um, so I've had, um, let's see. Oh, is it buffering again? I've had um, Sister Woman, uh, Jonna, and Darcy Glam. So we've had quite a few people. Anyway, okay. So there's this one's kind of coming out. Uh, here's me and there's me and mom. There's me and my mommy. Don't know if mom's still watching, but look, see, I like string and just all kinds of random stuff. It doesn't have to like be a theme. Like I'll just throw whatever. Look, look. There, there's a little shine bingo card, you know, <laughs> like whatever. So how I usually do my scrap pages was with uh, color. I'd have a color theme. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I know it, it uh, went away for a minute. So, yeah, so I do my scrapbook pages like color theme. So this was like black, white, yellow, and pink. And then I did a black and white picture of me and mom. Well, it's tinted. There's a little bit of, see a little bit of her pink shirt there but um yeah 
Mom is sweet. And then this is a um, cam some years ago. Uh, I think he had new glasses. Again, random things. He's he's an artist, so I did painty things, uh, typewriter cameras, see the world, random mustache. Now he, well, he doesn't have a beard and mustache now, but for many years he had beard, you know. I think just recently, um, here's another one of me and mom cooking or something. Um, and then this is when she got off the plane at the airport in 2014. <laughs> As soon as she got off, see my mom and Ken, they both, um, they're on, they're on, uh, well, she kind of follows me on Twitter, but she doesn't really tweet. She's on Facebook. She, they do selfies. We do video chats. They're all high tech. They're all techies. So mom took a selfie of herself <laughs> when she got off the plane. We're here. And she, um, and she messaged it to me. So of course I had to print that off and keep it. Uh, let's see here. So then here's someone that we're visiting at Red Robin. Yum. Here's uh, Logan. And again, this was in 2014. So much grown now. I mean, you know, from 2006 years ago. Atlanta had shaky milks. This I love this picture of Annie and Denise. Um, there's I, This is my favorite picture of Annie, Dan, and Logan. And I did a very um, Victorian uh, detail, jewels, lace. So, um, yeah. And I just called it we, just we. I know, Christine, right? Welcome back, Terry. Hi, Kathy. So anyway, I'll just leave it at this. I just wanted to show you a few um, scrapbook pages. Um, and I always keep one of each of them up in the, in, uh, in the dining, in the kitchen area. I have them framed in 12 by 12 frames and I rotate those out. And then after they, um, after they get the pictures get older, then I put new ones in there. But anyway, so I have tons of these books. I have a whole six foot shelf full of scrapbooks. That's all it is. All scrapbooks. And then let's see, I don't know what's in this one. I'll just kind of, these are, so here's like a random eight and a half by 11. Here's just a random little, they just, they're just, um, I don't mind putting, um, and there's Annie and Denise. I don't mind putting, um, there's where they went glamping. If you don't know in LA, in LA, you don't go camping, you go glamping. <laughs> So, um, yeah, they went glamping here. And then this was when um, Hubster went out to fly out and visit. Um, this is when they've gone out to L.A., the different wineries, the different, you know, Paramount Pictures, all the different places they went. And then these are all just on um, Project Life cards. Here's there's me and Logan. Um some pictures, ones of Cam. These are my two favorites of mom and grandma. Of course, y'all know grandma's passed away. Uh, mom is, uh, well, she won't mind me saying she's in her 80s. Glamping is glamour camping. Glamour camping. You don't just go throw a tent. You have glamour camping. Just go, just go look it up. Look on some Instagram. Go look up glamping on Instagram. <laughs> So anyway, I love this page. This was mom. Uh, and I did this all in black, white, and yellow because her flowers for Mother's Day that year were yellow. So I based the picture around her flowers. So there's uh, this page. And then this one is one of my favorite pictures of grandma. I keep, I keep this picture of grandma. It's right here. It's in this little thing right here. I keep that picture of grandma right with me. And uh, so um, grandma loved gardening. And so, um, yeah, there's my grandma. Hey, Jean, I hope you're feeling better. You better get better, girl, girl. Uh, she's still sick, but, but hello. Why are you coughing? Jean, Jean, you better take care of that cough, girl. 
So yeah, so there's grant. And so if you look real close, you can see all the layers. There's lace, there's this piece of paper, there's the background, there's this piece of paper, there's that piece of paper, a little doily, some cutouts. So it's just piles of stuff. Um, uh, there's so piles of, I just like lots of stuff. Like random, just like, because so I go by the color. So mom's I did all in yellow and grandma's I did all in pink. Uh, here's a picture of Hubster and uh, Annie out in L.A. at one of the wineries. This was 2014. Um, and then some other pic family pictures. I won't go through all those. Let's see. More of Boo's Cheer. Um, pumpkin Patch. Here's a picture of, uh, this is a few years ago. There's me and Boo and Cam. <laughs> look at that look on his face. I love that. So anyway, let's see what else. I'm kind of guilty. Here's a here's a picture of mom and Ken. And this was at Christmas. They came to for Christmas one year. And I did a lot of red glitter. You can't probably see it, but all that's glitter. So I did a teal, red, black, and white. So there's mom and Ken at Christmas. Oh, I know. And I got like, like I said, I got like 20, between 20, about 25 of these. Here's another one of mom and Ken. Here's Logan in his baseball. Um, this is, of course, years ago. He's still in baseball. He's in wrestling now. He just got another gold medal in wrestling. So he got a, he's really, really good at in wrestling. And he's been posting pictures on um, Facebook. This was 2015. So, um, there's Cam and Boo in 2015. Let me take these out. So, again, color theme. This one is teal and orange. And that's 2015. Here's Boo, 2015. And uh, reds and black and white. That's on the back. Another one of Cam and Boo. So yeah, so there's just a few. Um, I won't, I won't go through. All, I, I promise I'm not going through all 25 of them. <laughs> okay, so there's my um, Nana moment. All right, should we go back to gluing? I'm still waiting for Denise to get here. She should be here anytime. Thanks, Colleen. I just did it for so many years, and they were so the kids knew that I was taking pictures of them all the time. They got so, they could have been little models. They got so good at Nana taking pictures. Like, uh, I've got a great one of them walking down a path at the strawberry farm. And I said, okay, I'm going to take a picture, y'all, from the back. They both immediately stuck their hands out and held hands. They knew. They just, <laughs> they just knew. Nana's going to be taking pictures. Let's, uh, let's, do, you know. <laughs> So now they can take pictures of all those pages and put them on Snapchat. Okay, I like that. I like this. I'm just kind of flipping. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Denise is coming. Did I hide my part? She's not coming to clean out, Jean. She's coming to bring me my Mother's Day gift. Today's her day off, and she, does, she thinks it's going to rain on Mother's Day here, which is next Sunday. She said, I don't want my mom driving up here in the rain for Mother's Day. So I'm going to bring you your Mother's Day present. So she's on the way. She should be here any minute. She should be here any minute because um, she called about about quarter till nine, I think. And But she can't stay, Jean. She has to go pick up Boo at uh, one. So she won't be here long. So, yeah, I like that. So let's, And we're just doing, uh, Jean, since you just got here with your cough, which you better get better. Um, I'm doing a random glue book, mixed media sketchbook where you ran, glue random things down and then you go and you um, and you add things to, you know, you've seen us do that before, Jean. Jean, you're an old timer. You, you've seen this many times. <laughs> Jean's a streaming old timer. This is a piece of a calendar. Uh, Gustav. Um, yes, it is Katrina. Yeah, we won't call you old, Jean an old timer yes she could be marie con what is it con is it condo conda the the organizer minimalist she comes and she 
she makes me i have a video up guys it's like how long ago do you remember um julie or anybody here how long ago that one video i keep up Th four years ago when she can't no it couldn't have been that long ago three years ago anyway it's in my favorites if you go in my playlist it's i think it's the only video in there i kept that's the only video in there <laughs> And it was so fun. I, I treasure that video. Okay, let's see. Here's another piece of something. So again, guys, what you do is you just find, go through your magazine, magazines. I just have lots of collage, collage fodder, right? But go through your magazines and then just find things to glue however you want. And then go in. I've done this also on PC. Let me find that black one. I have a a black background book. Hang on, just a second. One of these two here. Got these two sketchbooks here. Mm, got these two. I don't think this is. All right, this is just a random. I'll do my backgrounds. Okay, so these are my backgrounds for my yet to be done. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Uh, phone cases, Terry. And then this was a Jane Davenport. We just did a Jane Davenport. So I haven't done too much in here, but these, what I'll do is I'll take my, um, the old fashioned way here. Let me find them. Oh, do I have them handy? Where are they? Ah. Well, y'all know my little, um, ah, here we go. Hang on guys. Hang on. So y'all seen that I've been having working on different um, different little animals that I want to put in uh, phone cases. <laughs> yeah. So they're backgrounds. Hi Eileen. So what I do instead of doing this digitally, I find different backgrounds that I like and I put them on here and I photograph them. <laughs> so I take my drawings, like here's a drawing of a koi fish, and I put it on here, and I photograph it, and then I crop it down. And there's my uh, there's my piece. Yeah, you're still, Terry's still waiting. So this is my old fashioned way because I know I could do it digitally, guys. Right? Uh, I know I got some samples in here somewhere. Uh, let's see where... Ah, here we go. Here's a couple more. <clears throat> Here's an emu with his. Um, so I got to cut it out and then I'll put it on a background rather than digi because I guys I know I love me some digi but you know unless I pay Eileen to do this for me, but anyway so um, you know some headphones here I got a couple more. Here. There's a giraffe with a headphone. So see he's just tacked down. I can remove him. And then where's my little axle toll? Axle toll. Oh, that's fine. So I did this one in a space page. I think it was this front page. I did him on this page, I think. I photographed him here, I think. One of these. Let's see. I printed it out. Hang on, if I can find one of the copies of the print out. Hmm. I might have already sent them all out. I might not have. I don't have any extra copies because I sent them all like, as giveaways. So I would put him on here. <laughs> yeah, the background. So these are backgrounds. Um, but this is the book I wanted to. Nope, this isn't it either. Hang on. I have a I have a book that has black paper in it. Hang on. Let me look. Let me find it. Where is that book? Where is it? Where is my black background? Ah, here it is. Found it. Okay. This one. This one has. <laughs> you like that idea, Christine? It's the. It's. I don't want to call it cheating. If you don't know Digi, you can just do that. <laughs> okay. Let me see here. Let me take out some of my notes. I don't know what notes I have. Okay. Okay, so this book was a who, what, where, when, why it was a it was a something for a um, what do you call it a society of idea collectors. So again, 
this is random marbles glued down and then everything else is painted. So this is a pay, this is one of those books where I've glued random things down and you go back and you play on it. Okay, so it's got a little bit of a too bright. Let's see. Let me turn down that brightness just a little bit there. There we go. Because I got my lights right here too, guys. It's kind of, I could probably turn that one off. There we go. So this is random glued down things, okay? It's just on black paper, but it's the same thing. So these are little cutouts from a, from a paper, and then I just drew in the flowers. These are some of my hand-carved little bunnies, little rabbit trails, and I gave them a little antenna. Um, this is wax paper. Feeling a trip to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and again, you know, here's some wax paper. Some these are Christmas card angels, and they're not. Nothing's done. This is not something that's like, oh, I'm finished with that. This is the same kind of thing as this, except on black. So in this case, let me find me a pasta. Oh, my Poscas are buried under here. Hang on. So then after you glue things down, then this is when you come in here and you just play. And you, and you just, you know, start doodling and you get ideas. And, it you know, you can do stars. You can do whatever. You can add paint. Here's some clip art. Here's one with paint on it. A little bit more painty. A lot of, this is all hand done doodles with the Posca. It's your, it's for it's to stir your imagination and your creativity, guys. It's not necessarily made to be anything. But look at these pieces. It looks doesn't this look kind of look like a Buddha, just sitting there, and it's just random bits of things. Is Paula here or is it other Paula? No, I'm looking for Journal Artista. I saw somebody said hi, Paula. Oh, there she is. Hi, Paula. Are you, are you going to stream on Wednesday? Are you going to be back to streaming? It did look like a Buddha. Yeah. Hi, Paula. Good to see you. Um, Y'all make sure and follow Journal Artista. Uh, so, again, just random bits of glue down. Random bits of collage glue down. Here's some wax paper ones. So, it's the same kind of thing that I'm doing in the big, you know, in the white sketchbook. It's just on black. And then you can go in and, you know, uh, I don't know, you just... You do this stuff when you're just watching TV. And then if you're watching, or, or, or a video, if you're watching, you know, YouTube videos. And then you can write down notes and doodle and just whatever. It's just things that you like glued down. And then you can go back and, and go back and play, right? I swear to you, I just sit here in amazement watching you work. Your ideas are just so fast. Write them all down, Christine. <laughs> Thank you. You're sweet. Thanks, Christine. The goal is to start but does not need to be complete. Yeah, it, it's... It's to have a place to sketch and doodle. And if you like to do, you know, paint pens, like Poscas, any color Poscas, you know, you can do paint pens. Um, let's make sure they're not stuck together here. And uh, some, I can tell I put matte medium with these. I probably had some extra matte medium out left over from a piece. So I just got this book out and started gluing stuff down so I didn't waste it. Um, no, no, the paint, the book is black. 
Elaine. The book is black paper. Um, Janet has one of these, I think, in white. Eileen probably has it in every shade of whatever color they came in. <laughs> uh, so anyway, it's the same kind of thing. Just use it as a glue book, sketchbook. Okay, they're just random things glued down in here. Now I did do the I did do this, guys. I did do it, it's it's I think it's the Dilutions black book, isn't it? Yeah, see how it is? Look. The book is black, the envelope's black, the paper is black, but I I did the stars. Okay. I did the stars, but it, it's just a black, it's, it's the Dilutions. Yeah, the Dilution one. Okay, so let's see here now. Let's go back to randomly just putting things down again. And again, it's then you can just start sketching and doodling. And, um, you know, if you have, a, have something that you, here, let me go back over to my, let me go back over to, I had those sketches in the beginning. Because <clears throat> you got your little, I got some little chicks and rooster drawings here. Some little bunnies. Um, you know, go in here and uh, let's see what can I do. <coughs> let's try blue. And make a little polka dot. The inside of his ears could be polka dots. So if you sketch, go back and doodle on it. Or you could put scrapbook papers or if you don't scrapbook, if you just have magazine papers that have pat patterns on them, you know, go in here. And it, these kind of exercises, guys, they, they just fuel, they give you fuel for creativity. Yes, I love my little, I love my little pig butt there. <laughs> and I just get these images, guys, I just look up, you know, just look up, uh, you know, pigs on or rabbits on uh, Google Images. They're just for me to sketch and practice and play. So you want to, you want to always, you know, I did this at Easter. Did little chicks, just did little chicks at Easter. Um, you know, you could go in here and, you know, give him a red comb. Where's a red? You want to just do this with a. And then I'd probably do a wash. So I do like um just take some red water brush. You know, just test things out, test out your supplies, make it your swatch book, make it whatever. Let me get a, I need to go get me some coffee, clean my brush off here. So your super tips could be used like a watercolor. There's some little flowers like these here. Maybe they need to be. Maybe one needs to be around the little chick. It just makes you feel like, you know, when you were a kid and you would cut things, glue things, sketch, draw, doodle, and you never worried about it. You never worried about, well, was it gonna, is it going to be good enough for Instagram? <laughs> you know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> Um, Charlotte. Oh, did, did you accidentally? Yeah, it happens. I should not mind. <laughs> it's all right, Jean. Shara, I just posted again. Uh, that happens. Sometimes the mods get a little trigger happy. <laughs> uh, hi, Cajun. Um, thank you, Terry. 
So anyway, um, yeah, I, I like these little sketches that I did at the beginning. I just got a new sketchbook, so I started just doodling. And then I did some little faces, some of my little quick faces. And I've shown you all how to do this. Stick in there. I, shown you all, I showed you how to do these little quick little sketches like this. And then go back in and play with um, play with little faces. Um, so anyway, yeah, I got my art. These are my gouache, the new gouache, which we're going to get back to that on Wednesday. And I swatched out my Black Widows pencils, all those, and then I just started gluing stuff down. Uh, I have a whole book somewhere or pages that I took out of another book and put them in another book where I took fashion magazines and Colleen has seen it because Colleen really liked it. So that's why I know. <laughs> but then go in and um, and you can, you know, draw, draw on top of, you know, add things like maybe there's somebody's, you know, you can have someone's face coming out of there. Thank you, Colleen. Then again, here we just glued down this travel and I showed you, this is just with the uh, super super tips. You know, but look at those colors. Just looking at this, you got that color idea. I could do a whole, whole um, color book page just with these colors. The, the olive, light and dark olive and a blue, maybe one darker, maybe one darker blue with that. And this would just be an awesome combinate color combination. And also, don't forget, guys, I've shown this before. Design dash seeds.com. If you want color combinations, go there. You will have color combinations. You will never, ever, ever run out of run out of color combinations for whatever project you're doing. Color books, art journals, collage combinations, scrapbooking, card making, whatever you do, design dash seeds, you will have color combinations. So, yeah. You know, it, and if you just sit here and you can you know, <clears throat> doodle, make a little. But the thing is, guys, it's hard to explain when you do these kind of projects or like when you do the the one that we did last week with the taking a fashion magazine and, and, a, and a, a Sharpie and some tracing paper and do all those excess. Oh, I got to show you. Let me show you. I don't know if Nor um, uh, Norma's still here. Yeah, let me go over here to Twitter. She posted it. Why can't I find it? Norma, wasn't it you that did those? Uh, I'm not finding it. That Who was it that did? I thought it was you, Norma, that did the uh, magazine images. Traced them. Who am I thinking of if it wasn't you? I mean, <laughs> you got, that's why you got to write it down. That's why being a part of the Society of Idea Collectors, you have a book. Norma, was it you that posted the picture? Who was it that did that then? If it wasn't you, I don't. It wasn't Pacola. Who did those um, sketches? Not sketches, but um, tracings. I thought it was you, Norma. It was Pacola. Okay, sorry, Pacola. It was Pacola. So it was Helen. Hang on. Let me find it. These were awesome. Let me go over there. Helen. Okay. Oh, you got a new book, Helen. I just saw this. Pacola is Helen. She's uh, She found this new book. She found this at the Dollar Tree. I just saw that. Colleen did some too. That's right. Okay. Hang on, guys. I'm going to find them. All right, so let's go to media. Um, ah, here we go. So Helen Pacola did these. 
She was working along with us. Okay, so look. I'm trying to zoom in so enough for you to see. So it helps you to see. It helps you to see by doing these exercises. It's not so that you can make beautiful art with these. It's, it's for the practice of it. Look. See? All right, let me find Colleen's now. I just got a message. I'm, I should check that in a minute. Maybe make sure it's not Denise. Okay, so here, here, look how many Colleen, let me turn it sideways. Look how many Colleen did. She did a whole stack of them. So if y'all missed last week's show, it was last Monday. We did the show on, I forget the name of it, practicing, sketching, and I forget the name of it. But anyways, last Monday, last Monday's uh, show here. Um, <clears throat> Colleen, did you ever get that mess cleaned up? <laughs> so both of them did awesome. All right, let me see who's messaging me here. Um, let's see, make sure Denise isn't. No, nope, she's she wasn't her. I don't know. She should be here anytime. I, I'll call her in a minute. Yes, I that's dry. I and I, I know that's true, Colleen. I said to do a whole magazine, so she took me up on it. But now let me ask you and Helen both because y'all I know for our two that actually did. I'll keep doodling here while we're talking. You two are uh, ones that actually did the exercise. What did you, did you feel more um, like you could see figures and shapes better after doing it? Did it make you more aware of shapes in the body? Circles and, and uh, rectangles. And did you, did you notice that you, did you get something out of it? If you did what? <laughs> It's kind of what I'm asking you. Much better. Pacola says she's much better at seeing shapes. I mean, because just the more you do it, the heads were so small, you're more aware that the heads were so small compared to the body. Yeah. And you're looking at shapes now. But, you know, you do you realize or did you come to a like a like a moment where when you are going, oh, look at this. I mean, I see. I And you just want to keep doing more and more and more because you are getting it. Breaking down faces and placement of eyes. Yeah, Pacola. That, that exercise and the one on negative space, guys. If you didn't watch the show from last Monday where I, and I talked about negative space, and the uh, Drawn on the Right Side of the Brain book was my, you know, inspiration book that we use that day. Um, is seeing negative space. When you can see, let me just grab the magazine. Again. I'll find one. It has a... Okay, here we go. Instead of drawing these girls, draw, draw the air. That's just the best way for me to say. You can start by tracing it just so you can get the hang of it. But look for negative space. This is your negative space. Don't draw the girls. Draw the negative space. Oh, Denise is here. I can run to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> Let me go let her in because the uh, screen door is locked. All right. Be right back, guys. <laughs>
Hey, Bella. Well, it's okay. That's your old mama. Remember me? It's the bag of freaking mine. Hey, buddy. So everybody's still here, Denise. All right, I gotta drop this. This is okay. about 800 pounds. Oh gosh. So uh, yeah, Ooh. let me get let me get Denise a chair. Oh, she's gonna take mine. I'm sure. Oh. Oh, you brought Chick Fil A. I did. <gasps> Ooh, we're gonna eat in front of you guys. <laughs> I got one for granddad. He should be here probably. We'll have to heat his up. Everybody's saying hi, Denise. <laughs> she's saying she's hi, waving hi. Yeah, Denise is my daughter. Mm -hmm. Oh, the whole room smells like Chick Fil A. Yum. <gasps> oh, I brought well, gift. <gasps> you brought me a gift for Mother's Day. I, let me see yeah, if I'm not okay. zoomed in. I can't, uh, I won't be able to see you on Mother's Day. Not if it's raining. So, yeah, everybody's You never ate to... there. <laughs> Where do you live? <laughs> Mars? <laughs> Some people don't have Chick-fil-A. Hi, Teresa. Hi. Hi. De oh, all the highs. Hi, hi, hi. I'm going to grab a, a French fry while you're saying hi. She's she's reading chat here, guys. Oh, Mom, I can't. Oh, well, turn it off. Oh, there you go. Oh. Fans blowing on you. Yeah, Jean lives in Canada. Thanks, Cajun. You like the bag? Isn't it pretty? Mm hmm. Am I making y'all wait? <laughs> Fries to OG, mm -hmm. y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me show y'all. Sorry. I'm holding oh, out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me put that to the side for a minute. I don't know what number ones are. The same <laughs> Mark said, did you come to use the crappy pencils today? <laughs> wow. Well, I'm going to let that one go. No. <laughs> no crappy pencils for Good me. Good one. Things. Good one, Mark. <laughs> they don't forget. Mouth is drooling. They don't forget. Denise, I too. Uh-huh. <laughs> Best waffle fries on the planet. D -D oh, yeah, she'll keep the bag for sure. Yeah, Jean, save it for later. Jean told me to hide all the important what? stuff so you don't throw it away. So, here's the thing, guys she doesn't have time. She doesn't have time today. She has to go pick up Boo at one. Mm -hmm. So, there's no time for her to throw anything away. Look, I showed them all that. Uh, the tissue paper? No, I mean the, <laughs> the bins. Oh, gee. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, let me out. Let me eat this last fr fry. Yes, um. there's plenty, Christine. Come on over. <laughs> the cats do everything together. Yes, they do. Wow, oh, that's really cute. You look great, Denise. Don't I? You do. I'm super cute. Do you want me to put you on camera? Me. No. <laughs> I'll put you on camera. No. I just <laughs> wanted to talk smack. I don't, I'm not really cute. Yes, you are. You're adorbs. Okay, should I open my gift now? Yeah. I told the girls I'd open it up on camera. Oh, okay. Look at this pretty bag, guys. I don't know if you're going to like it, but we'll see. Well, you gave me a hint. I told the girls, I didn't tell them what you told me you got me, but that I told them that you asked me if I wanted it, and I said, I don't know. So I wasn't sure if she got That's what I mean. I don't know if you're going to like it. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. What's this? What is that? Some sort of a watch band. Is this a watch band? It's a clue. <laughs> it's super encrypted. You'll never figure it out. <laughs> Christopher actually gave that to me for Christmas. Really? I don't, yeah, I don't like these. What's the, oh, is, wait, let me see this first here. Oh, Denise, my unsigned card. Uh-huh. Yeah, Denise, I got to tell you a little story. Oh, and here's the book. I got to tell you all the story of the cards. Denise loves to get her grandmother cards. She never gets them in the mail on time. So what she does with my mom, I, and Grandma was here earlier. I don't know if she still oh, is. Okay. But what she does with Grandma's cards, with her grandmother's cards, she buys the card. She signs the card. She writes a nice note. She takes pictures of it. She texts it to grandma, and then she throws a card away. <laughs> it's easier. 
So she sends, she sent, she buys the card. It's not like she doesn't send, give it, buy the card. Oh, well, that's an idea, though. I mean, I could. Um, <laughs> I mean, she's, already. she's already texting you. All right, call. <laughs> hey. Hey. Let, let, let her get off the phone. Hey. We'll continue on. <laughs> Did she hang up already? She's at school. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's what she does. Okay, and then here, okay, gotta go back. Here is the book that she brought back from my mom. So, this is ooh, <laughs> this is me as a baby. There I am. Now, I gotta tell you the story. No, we gotta go. Oh, she's watching grandma. Hi, grandma. Oh, she is watching. So, mom, mom's watching. I'm, I know, I'll hurry, Denise. So uh, mom said when she first got me, she said, I think you gave me a Chinese baby. It does look like a Chinese baby. My mom goes, are you sure you gave me the right baby? I think you gave me a Chinese baby. <laughs> so, cute. so that's when I was a baby. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you, C.L. Aldridge. Let me just pick a couple here. It wasn't uh, intentional. It was just how it happened. There's mom and grandma. Mm. Thank you, mom, for sending this with Denise. Look at their rolled up jeans. This would be us now, Denise, you and me. Thank you. Yes. I'm going to take pictures of them and blow them up, you know. Okay, this is me when I was probably eight. And look at that Christmas tree, people. Oh, wait, I shouldn't say that. Where's Jersey? People, <laughs> a white Christmas tree, and it had one of those spinner things, and it's, you know, lit up. Cute. Yeah, that's that's when I was probably about eight. Love the bangs. I know. Oh, is that grandma? No, that's mom. Look at my mom. Mom, how old were you here? About 12, 13? Oh, my gosh, so cute. All right, hang on. I'm just flipping through. I'm like, now, this is my grandfather. This is mom's dad. That's mom's dad when he was a baby. What else do we have here? Oh, there's grandma and mom camping. Look how old these pictures are. They're all yellow and faded. There's my grandma and mom. They're, they camped all the time. They're up in Washington, Idaho, up in that area. They camped all the time and fished. My grandfather was a, uh, taught me how to fish when I was like two. Um. Let's see here. Oh, that's a good picture. There's there's Denise who's here now and Ken. This is mom's husband, Ken. There's Denise. Is this just this last time, this last day? I know. No. Is this the last time they're here? No. When was this? Uh, that was in uh, Florida. Oh, when they went that to the cheer thing. Line. Okay. All right. And there's mom holding her little Chinese baby. <laughs> There's oh, mom and me. Little footies. Yeah. So anyway, so thank you, fluffy. mom. Thank you. Um, there's me and my sisters when we were, this one was 19. This had to be 60. What is that? 60. What is that? Can you read that? Oh, please. 68 or 9. Yeah, 68. Yeah, eight or nine. This is 1968. There's me, Jody, and Debbie. So there's the three of us. This was Easter because i that's the only time we would have wore those kind of dresses. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. So anyway, guys, and thank you, Mom. Oh, there's, there's the three of us again. Probably about 68, 69. So, yeah. Hi, Vonnie. Okay. So now I'm going to show you what Denise got me. Well, I was going to tell you about the card. Oh, okay. You want me to? It's all right. I didn't. <laughs> open it because it's one of those stand-up things and oh. i thought if i opened it and it and it exploded i'd never get it back in the envelope oh okay so, so i wasn't sure the, okay well then let's uh let's go ahead and open up that car i read the message and i thought it was sweet okay well of course okay oh mom okay oh okay here we go guys Oh, Denise, look, it makes a full three dimension. Isn't that pretty? I was oh, afraid to open thank it you. and sign it. Oh. I didn't think I'd get it back together. <laughs> you said you just have to give it to me like this. I I'm just, I'm just going to leave it in the envelope. Oh, well, at least you didn't throw it away. Just take a picture yeah. of it. <laughs> you could have just taken a little video of it. And <laughs> oh, thank you, honey. That's a great card. Oh, it folds up nice and easy. Yeah, oh, okay. it does. 
I put yours in the mail yesterday. Oh, yeah, it's not Mother's Day yet. <laughs> yeah, it's not Mother's Day yet. Okay, so this came, this was in the bag. Did anybody get any hints? Okay, so this is what she gave me for Mother's Day. Thanks, Brat Chick. She got me an eye watch. It's an Apple Watch, Mom. Apple Watch is not an eye watch. It's called an Apple it's Watch. It's called an Apple Watch. Okay. The, is this the that's for you to keep in case seat. you hate it in case i hate it i don't know if you're gonna like it well i don't know are you gonna help me set it up or has boo got you on a string no, okay. <laughs> uh, okay i don't have any thumbnails wait let me get Do you have any scissors around here no <laughs> what kind of studio is this what kind of studio is this with no scissors oh an exacto knife excuse me some of these extra <laughs> someone's extra i love that i love using the word extra i like everything to be extra yeah <laughs> so let's take this off here all right it's a it's an it's an apple watch unboxing people how does it pop does it up oh, here we go it's got a little tab you pull Okay. <laughs> yeah, Jean's going, ha, 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 any scissors? <laughs> she knows you. She's been around since you've been around, Denise. Okay, so here we go. All right, what's in here? What's this? Oh, is this my instructions? Oh, this is part of the other half of the band. Oh, so you have, that's the watch uh, charger and... They give you a long band and a short band. Okay. So yeah. I always use the short one, of course, because my wrist is tiny. I want to use this one. <laughs> use the white one first. Okay, I will. All right. So it's got a That's little El Cheapo. Okay. All right. I'm afraid to do anything with you have do you have yours on? Uh-huh. Oh, stick your arm up in here. My well, I got mine when Apple II's first came out. Mine's old. And this is a three? Yeah, yours is a three. Okay, what do we do here? Let's see. Uh, one, two. It's got instructions. I don't want to take the thing off. Turn long. it around. Well, put that instruction. Okay. Look, those are the instructions. No, oh, well, I don't want to do it right now while we're on camera. Why? Um, because I don't want the girls to know. So here we go, guys. All right. So let me let me take this off here. Hang on. Do you like it? Do you think you'll wear it? I got you the white and silver. I thought that was pretty. Mine's black. Oh, I had it upside down? That's the back? Yeah, that's the oh, back. Oh, well, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was going to go. I was going to, oh, let's put this on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this boomer. is why I, did, I didn't know that she was going to like this or not. <laughs> boomer moment. <laughs> Yeah, no instructions. Well, there Just was something in there was something in there. What, so okay, okay here I have to I have to look it, it up. Do this. Is Hit it the side button? Okay, See is it happens. no? Do I have to charge it? Does it work like an iPad? Do I need to charge it? Hold oh, please. Oh, oh there it goes. goes. So you we're in business. We're in business. You would have done the same thing, Cheryl. <laughs> I you know. Will, will love the okay, so now how do you charge it? This is a, so I would go to Five and Below. Five and Below has a little stand uh -huh. for five bucks. That's what we use for ours. Oh, it's and just a, just, can I just plug it into my computer here? Is it already yeah. charged up? It's, it should be charged. Somehow. Okay, now, but wait, wait, let's see. How does this work? What is you this? Just, you just set it on there. So oh, you like, just set it on. All right, yeah. Jenny's going to show me with her. It's magnetic. Oh, and, and it's so, charging it right now? No, Mom, it's not plugged in. Oh, well, here, you want me to plug it no. in? Oh, okay. Why don't you do yours? <laughs> 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 so many squirrels in this room. <laughs> <laughs> They're sparkling. Okay, so it went, all right, so I touched it and it came back on. Yep. So I'm going to have to, like, uh, hook it up to my phone. Nice gift. Oh, uh, Mom's too. Okay. Okay, so it says low battery. So okay. go ahead and plug To continue. In. All right, so I will go ahead and plug it in here on my phone. I mean, on my computer. Okay. Or is it going to want to register it over here? Should I just plug it into the... I don't know. Just, okay. Just, it shouldn't, Mom. It shouldn't. Because you're not plugging it into anything. You're just charging it. I mean, I didn't know if my iTunes was going to come up on here. I don't think so. All right, let's just go over here. 
It's not going to reach. Okay, it's going into the computer. All right. All right. Now just, just set it on top. Do I take this off? Yeah, no, just use the other side. Oh, you can use either side. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're in business. Okay, so look, read the instructions on here. Oh, wait, I missed it. Oh. So first of all, Mom, let me just show you. When you look at your watch, this is how you read it. And then it's going to go black. Okay? So... In order to, it doesn't stay on all the time. Look at mine now. Yeah, See, it goes black. off. Yeah. And then in order for you to look at it, you have to flip Shake it Shake it a you. little. Yeah. Okay. So if it goes black, just flip it towards you. So what does it say? Um, Apple so Watch. Your phone. Okay. Let me log in over here. Okay. Got it. Now. And then bring iPhone the near. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, looky. Continue. Uh -huh. Okay, continue. Put on your Apple Watch and hold it up to the camera. Can I just hold it up? Do uh -huh. I have to put it on? Okay. It needs my pulse and it needs my um, blood type and it needs, go ahead, just put it this way. Yeah. So you might want the longer one. Okay, well, just that's good for now. Okay, now put this up to it. Mm -hmm. Where the, right where the screen is. Okay. Have it even. There you go. Okay. Your Apple Watch is paired. Set up Apple Watch. Okay. Now it's asking me to set up Apple Watch. Okay. On which wrist do you wear? Left. Okay. Connecting your Apple Watch. This may take a moment. Are y'all bored? <laughs> oh, send by email. This is so funny. Terms and conditions. Send by email. Agree. It looks pretty on you. How sweet. Okay. Signing into your account. This may take a few minutes. If I need any uh, any codes, I'm going to probably, oh, I know my Apple ID. That's about it. I don't think so. I think it all works together. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going to happen here. Signing into your account. This may take a few minutes. A few minutes. Give me a French fry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there are not many left in there. There's three boxes. Oh, okay. So maybe tighten the watch a little bit. Oh, it's okay. It's all right for now. No, it's tight enough. Oh, enable route tracking. Yes. What's, okay. So that's so it can follow me around. Um, so if you if you're if you need your GPS, it'll buzz and tell oh, you. Oh, okay. Apple Watch shares settings with iPhone for location, find my phone, Siri Analytics. Yeah. Okay. Create a passcode. I already got one. Should I keep the same well, one? Well, it's for your watch. So when you take it off, it, you have to and, and turn it back. So I just took mine off to put it on the charger. Uh -huh. And then you put it back on. It's a security measure. So in case you left it somewhere, nobody can get into it. Right. So yeah. can I create a password but have the same one as on my? Yeah. Okay. Uh, create a passcode. Oh, it's four digits. Okay, that's okay. Uh, on your Apple Watch. Oh, on my watch. Oh, okay. See, it's asking me to put it on here. Okay. Okay. Re-enter. Re Oh, 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 setting up activity. We're setting up, people. We're setting up. So, yeah, you have your activity. You'd be able to see um, all like my stuff, here. everything that's on my phone. See, <laughs> look how active I was today. Oh, you mean like your steps? Steps, calories, move. Sometimes your watch will yell at you and say, you know, it'll get up. It buzzes. <laughs> yeah, it'll buzz. It'll say, time to stand. <laughs> Or it'll buzz and say, you could use a deep breath. Okay, so it's setting up my activity. All right. You have us all stalking you now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tweeting you all the time. How long does it, do I, it says, set, do I set up an activity? Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, my birthday, sex, height, weight, wheelchair, no. Do I have to put that stuff in? Is that necessary? It will. So for me, it averages. Can I go back to this later? Yeah. Okay. So I can just continue. Yeah. Okay. Daily move goal. 300 is good. 300 calories? Is that it? Don't That's a move calorie. It's not an eat calorie. 
Yeah, I know, but don't we want to burn that many? Don't we want to burn more than three hundred? I have five hundred set on mine, and I never get it, and I move around. Oh, so we should go. I see three hundred. Three hundred, good. Yeah. Okay, set move gold because it has lightly, moderately, and highly. Okay, I'll go with uh, three hundred. Your health, okay. Apple Watch can help you look after your heart. Mm -hmm. Should I? Which one should I just go? High, low, high, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's going to do both anyway. Yeah, okay, continue. So. Okay. Um, no, you don't want to do Apple Pay. I don't think you do. Not for uh, your I'm, watch. Well, I'm on. You mean, does that mean, can I use an iTunes card here? Or do I have to have Apple Pay? Apple you... Pay is so whenever I go to buy something. Uh-huh. I always use an Apple. My I, I use this. Dink. Okay. I use well, I don't want to do that right now. Especially with Set up watch. later. Yeah, set up later. Okay. Yeah, because you don't want someone to take your watch and start using your Apple Pay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now what is this? Emergency? I, I say no. Continue. You can press and keep holding the site button. I've done that accidentally. I've accidentally called 911. Oh, well, then how do I? It doesn't give me a. No, you just say continue. Okay. Um, okay, install all my apps. Do I have plenty of room? I do. Yeah, and I don't go there very often, but when I want them. Or can I, I just choose? This is what mine looks like with my apps. okay because it's at, install all or choose later well i don't want to choose later i want to but i don't necessarily want them all i can just go ahead and delete them like i would on you my phone uh -huh. okay install all all right apple watch is sinking your apple watch is almost ready are y'all still with the tour <laughs> no calling 911 on accident i know it's buddy oh it is yeah <laughs> Okay, so she's going to tell the rest of her story. It says it, I, it's still syncing. I have quite a few apps. So I don't know how much, how long it's going to take. You'll get an alert when it's done syncing. Do you want to use your iPhone? You So you can use your iPhone as you normally would. Uh, you don't know if you want your watch telling. Okay, Apple Watch Basics, 1130. Okay, the time is set. I don't know. I, I'm I, I I'm I'm kind of enjoying this because it's new. Um, it likely take a lot of time. Do you think? How long should it take? Should be done. No, it's not. I mean, I oh, there it's moving a little quicker now. Yeah. Jean says it's going to take a lot of time. Jean's the, the she's the um, I girl or the Apple girl. So she's. You will have. Terry along with you on my watch. <laughs> if you accidentally call 911, always stay on the line to let them know you dialed accidentally. Oh, that's oh a, yeah, I do that. That's yeah. a good idea. That's good to know. If you accidentally call, hi, honey. Hey, babe. Look, look what's on my wrist and syncing up with my phone as we speak. Well, cool. Dick Tracy calling Go Go Gomez. Dick Tracy, <laughs> calling. Dick Tracy. I also have you a sweet tea in the car. I couldn't pick it off. If you want to drink that instead of the... Okay, thank you very much. It will take a while because I just set up my new phone, okay? So, you, because you set up your phone, Jean, it's going to... Your watch is going to My watch is going to take a uh, while. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, because Jean, Jean's... <laughs> Jean, you're so funny. Look, it's, it's, the, it's about a quarter of the way done. Look, it's got about a quarter of the way done, Jean. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Jean. I know what you meant. <laughs> they read you the riot act. <laughs> oh, wait. Your Apple ID and phone number are now being used for iMessage and FaceTime on OK. Yay. Yeah, OK. <laughs> I know. Isn't it, Norma? Guess you don't have as many apps as I do. I don't know. I have quite a few, Jean. <laughs> I have quite a few. Watch. Well, I, yeah. It'll I'll, notify you. And you can either set have. up notifications or not. Well, I think I just said it was tweet. okay. Yeah, I, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna get tweet. I'm gonna get tweet, 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 won't I? It, it, some of them you'll be able to see. Some you won't. Yeah. Some you won't be able to visually just because of, it's a so tiny. Or yeah, like yeah. Well, Cam loves his uh, I uh, Apple Watch, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah. Well, he works and he can't be be on his phone. You know what I mean? But, but he can have his watch. Yeah. It's a text. He can view it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I would love an Apple, but. Well, yeah, Jean, Jean only has, Jean is like 90% blind. Oh. And so she watches everything on big. So yeah, no way, Jean. But you know what, Jean, I thought about, you know, when my phone, um, 
with even with my I my P, you know, it's a set. This is a seven P, so it's big, right? I thought, you know, wouldn't it be neat to have some straps on your phone and just strap it to your arm, Jean? <laughs> I would so it would be like, um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, you like it, Miss Colleen? Colleen, you have a you have an Apple Watch though, Colleen. You have an Apple Watch, right, Colleen? Inspector Gadget. <laughs> That's what Granddaddy was saying. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just strap your phone to your wrist. Somebody needs to invent that, Gene. Invent some. They're probably already out there. Some kind of um, phone straps that maybe go under your case. You know and go under the case and you just strap your phone to your wrist oh <laughs> uh, they have something like that for runners kathy said so but anyway thank you so much it's about halfway done so it may take another 20 or 30 minutes guys no, no, you don't think so? Okay. Well, I don't want to make everybody just sit here and watch me, uh, watch me, watch my watch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. So I, am I charged up enough to take this off here? No, you didn't even charge it. Oh, should I take it off and sit it back on there? No, no? wait for it to finish. I'll okay. Okay. Bye, Terry. I can't, Terry, I... I can't do the uh, thing right now, Terry. So just consider yourself growled at, Terry. At. <laughs> Bye, Terry. <laughs> oh my gosh. So how far how far away can you be so that you're in sync with your phone? In the same house, in the same room? Yeah, depends on your Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. I'm a Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it should be done in a minute. I'm you gonna go eat with Granddad. Okay, we'll say bye to the girls because I'm gonna get off in a minute. Are oh, you gonna be done? Yeah, okay. yeah. All right, bye, girls, the boys. See we've, been, ya. we've been here three hours. Oh. Yeah. So anyway, guys, isn't that awesome? Let's look at that card one more time. Look at that card. Oh my gosh, Mom, still here? I'm not gonna let her throw mine away. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh so that's an awesome part. well thanks guys for being here thanks guys for being here while i received my mother's day gift from denise and uh yeah <laughs> thanks everybody a little bit of an unboxing isn't that an awesome box though look at this box extra this is the extra long um you know watch thing I do like this. Denise said she didn't like it, so I might go with that. And I might order some other watch bands. So, yeah. So, thanks, everybody. You're welcome. Thanks, everybody, for being here. You're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. And everybody go follow Jersey Crafter. She's new.